to air at prime time on several networks. The lengthy advertisement, which makes scant reference to any products or promotions, posits to viewers that perhaps beef is merely a symbolic expression of lust in its most wanton and depraved form. When we call for beef, what are we really asking for? Is it the caress of a gentle lover? Or the blade of an executioner? The rage of steel on bone? Would you yourself deny beef? Would beef deny itself of you? In other news, a spaced out flower child is grooving on a doobie wave. A new study reveals nothing Pfizer's lawyers can't take care of, and the parents of an adorable child on a TV show are most likely insane. Thus ends nature's majestic cycle of weekly news reviews, only to gracefully begin itself anew in exactly one week's time. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. You'll need that. If you got something you want to bring up, you're certainly welcome to do that here uh, with us tonight. Also, uh, you can join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Joining you tonight in studio, it's Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. So, we'll start with a story I teased last night. Uh, we never got around to it here. Johnson thinks it's pretty funny already. I hadn't heard you tease it last night. I'm just see. I came in, saw you pull up the title on the screen, and yeah. So Wow. So, Johnson, have you heard of the Oculus? I have. What do you think about it, and what is it for our listeners that, uh, that so haven't the, heard? The Oculus Rift is a product that was uh, purchased by Facebook, which is a, uh, a, a set of displays. or No, actually, I guess it's a single display with lenses, but um, essentially, it goes on your face. So that, uh, essentially, imagine having an IMAX screen that you know is so big that it encompasses your entire field of view mm. about two inches away from your face. Um, super this, high resolution. Super high resolution and basically covers your entire depth field of view so that essentially you're wearing goggles that uh, allow you to be completely immersed in a 3D world. You know, a It's 20 virtual years. Reality. I mean, it's been 20 years right. since virtual reality was big, right? right? I remember back in the 1990s with Lawnmower Man, this you know, <laughs> Hollywood movie, and uh, there were some really I lame, am God. <laughs> there were some lame like video game hardware attempts to try to do virtual reality sure. back then, but they were just miserable attempts and expensive. And now it's getting to the point where it's going to be real. Like right. it's going to happen. The goggles are not these humongo mask kind of things. You don't have to wear a huge helmet, helmet. <laughs> uh, or anything like that. So the tech is to the point right now, even without it having really hit the market yet. The text to the point where this is something that can work. Right. Have you heard of, just uh, slightly tangential, but also on this same topic, have you heard of um, Google, I think it's called Google Cardboard or the Google Cardboard Project? No, I've not. Um, essentially, what uh, Google has done is they have made it so that you can uh, download plans uh, to cut into cardboard and make your own Oculus Rift using a smartphone. Yep, that looks like what what's occurred. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know that there's a there's a Samsung phone that's or Samsung viewer that is coming out that you can combine a Samsung device, a Google Samsung Android phone, with this uh, not cardboard but actual you know goggles essentially, so sort of a mount that you can mount the phone in and do the the right. same thing. This requires essentially well, essentially what the thing about Oculus Rift is that it's you it requires a really high resolution display, right? Mm -hmm. But these those displays are coming down in prices because of smartphones and te that right. technology. And that's what's allowing uh, Oculus Rift and why it's taken 20 years is because part of the problem... Has been the display. Has been the display and has been what's called latency. So that uh, the, the the signal from the screen to the controller mm -hmm. has to make a round trip. And that, so that basically what happens is you move your head, right? And, it has and to the respond. image doesn't move right away. The and image that has to throw you off. That could make it feel right. really sick or something. Sure. and it, Or it could just, you know, if you're trying to play a game or something Prevent like that. Prevent you from it, killing the zombies. Yeah. Right. It's not responsive. So it's like, it just would be a little weird. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking probably it would make you feel a little dizzy. So, but Ocul essentially. The smartphone technology and the speed of these chips and the, all the costs have come down yep. and allowed allowed that to happen. Well, with this Google Cardboard project, and it's cardboard.withgoogle.com. Okay. Um, essentially, you uh, put your smartphone, if you have a decent-sized smartphone, like maybe the new iPhone or, you know, this, I've got, you know, an LG phone that's one of the new ones that are out. And the reason why that is is because they've got the ultra-high-def screens, you know, the, sure. the like the double HD type, yeah. type of stuff. 
That's what's coming next. <clears throat> and they're fast enough to display things, and you can put it in, and there's like little lenses, and it allows you to get that full 3D immersive feel. It's amazing. But with a card, you know, <laughs> with your existing phone and some cardboard, it's... Now, you would still need to have, uh, I guess with, with the cardboard thing you're talking about, would the phone's little accelerometers or whatever they have in there, the things that can tell which way the phone there's, is facing, would that also allow the the, mo- the motion detection kind of thing right, as well? Right, because the there's also software, essentially. Wow, so all, everything's built yeah, into everything's the phone. Everything's built into the phone. That's incredible. Yeah. So this is a pretty amazing technology, and it's right around the corner. Right. Uh, I mean, I bet you they're going to have one of these out for Christmas time. Mm-hmm. I'm just speculating, uh, you know, at that point, maybe a, maybe more than one maybe. device. Because as I said, you got Samsung, you got this Oculus thing. Which I don't is know Facebook. if it's going to be this year. I'm thinking you maybe don't think Christmas so? time next year or sometime. In the I don't month. know, man. I mean, not. I, I, I heard know. Samsung's real close to their thing. Isn't it Christmas? It's just about that time. Yeah, Halloween will uh, will mark the beginning of the Christmas season. I mean, typically. maybe. I don't know that Oculus is ready for prime time yet. I mean, I guess they've had the, their developers kit for a while, so maybe it's possible that they could be, but they still have to manufacture everything. Yeah, maybe it's just the Samsung one that's going to hit the market first. I don't know who it's. I, somebody's going to somebody's gonna hit the market right. within the next year. The Samsung one thing. I was not impressed with comparatively I mean, in terms of field of view, in terms of yeah. the, all that stuff. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean the just, first... Yeah. You know, the first generation of the this stuff is going to be... The first of all of them are going to stink. Yeah, it, well, it's not going to stink. I, mean, I don't look, know. I, I don't know if you've seen the videos, Mark, but <laughs> yeah. uh, what I would look for is the React channel. This is the one I've seen, mm-hmm. uh, where they give the... Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the React channel or the Fine Brothers channel. Oh, React, kids These are react. some of the most fun videos uh, that I've seen on the internet, where they've got, yeah, kids react, teens react, and elders react. Oh, that's right. So they, they show them something and they see do, the reactions. Yeah, something, okay. I mean, there's everything from playing video games that are ridiculous or mm-hmm. scary to um, showing the kids like old technology, like a right. rotary dial telephone <laughs> yeah. or an old computer, the black Someone's and white like monitor, a, a tape cassette player, like a Walkman. The, the Walkman. <laughs> yeah, that one was hilarious. And just you know, getting the reactions of these, you know, in this case, kids who likely most but of them never seen this tapes. Stuff. Like when they found right out, now. when they found out that you had to like fast forward or rewind to get to the next <laughs> song, they were like. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> Some of their reactions but are hilarious. I see tapes like on kids' clothing. They'll have pictures of cassette, audio cassette tapes, which you know were crappy technology mm-hmm. when they were out. Everybody was clear on that, but it was what you had. Yep, Think Geek just released a Soundwave T-shirt that has an audio cassette. Tape sure, right. I mean it's, it's classic. <laughs> Kind of tech. I but mean, but it was the lowest quality. I mean, you could you could have an album was better audio quality at that time, and somehow, they might be into tapes. They might be into transformers. You never know, you know. Yeah. So anyway, my point about the React <laughs> channel, uh, which is sort of the new effort by the I believe they're the Fine Brothers. That was their original channel. Anyway, and one of those channels, I forget which one. It's either React or the mm-hmm. Fine Brothers. It's Elders React to Oculus Rift. And they, it's just them playing a demo, you know, a tech right. demo. Uh, where can I it's, touch that? It's no, no. Can um, I? No, yeah, there was definitely stuff like that where they thought that they were like, "Can I reach out and grab oh, okay. it?" Like, like things like that where they actually thought that they could touch the environment. Is like, uh, I didn't get the no. impression <laughs> the elders were like, you know, ignorant of what was going on. They all seemed to be pretty with it. They knew what they were looking at. It was right. virtual reality, and their reactions were really amazing. You know, because this is just incredible technology, and it's something you can't really show. On a 2D screen, right? You right. can you can show them reacting to it, but that's the best way to really experience this from without having actually put it on, right? Uh, because you can't show video of Oculus Rift and give somebody an idea of what this is actually like to you feel that. You can sort of if that person's really good at doing that magic eye thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the magic eye thing where you can take two images and you yeah. cross your eyes and then they kind of overlap? It, you That'd can be hard do as hell to do three. during a video. Oh, it really is. But it's but once you well once you kind of lock in. You can actually do that. It's obviously a lot easier to do with goggles or lenses, you know. So well, anyway, what they show you in the video on the React channel is, you know, you see what they're seeing, but you don't see it in 3D, obviously. Right, right. So you see them going up a, a tech demo, which is essentially a roller coaster. Right. Uh, There's a roller coaster, and I think a house in like Tuscany. Yeah, Italy like a Tuscan something. house. And so they show their reactions to it. And when they're on the roller coaster, it's uh, the, a very common reaction is, you know, they feel like the pit of their stomach kind of, you know, when you're going down the coaster, really? that's the yeah. feeling. They, yeah, it's very Because present, it's very the same real. thing that happens when you're watching an IMAX movie. When your entire field of view is encompassed by what you're seeing, your brain reacts differently. Hmm. That I've never had happen at an IMAX. The reason why an Oculus Rift would be different from that is because of the motion of your head. You know, because you can look around in this instance with an That's IMAX. That's true too. You can't you know, anywhere so you wait, look. You're looking at a movie theater. You've never. Uh, have you ever gone to one of the IMAX movies where like it's a helicopter flying and you're going down? You've never gotten the sense of like the vertigo from that. 
Um, no. Well, I've never. You I can't say I've seen a scene like that. You must not be susceptible to motion sickness. Well, I don't know if that's true, but I, I can't say I've seen. You know, I can't say I can recall seeing an IMAX movie with which had that. Right. Um. Well, here's another question for you. Have you ever been on a long boat trip? I've been on a cruise. Yeah, sure. And no, any motion sickness whatsoever. I don't recall it. No. So you may you may not be susceptible to that. Okay, but you've experienced this at an IMAX. Show? A couple not of only centuries have I experienced ago, it at IMAX, but I've also experienced motion sickness. A couple boat. of centuries ago, Ian, they would have kidnapped you and made you a sailor. <laughs> okay, toll free number <laughs> Yar be dar eight fifty five four fifty three. So why are we talking about the Oculus Rift tonight? Well, it's a pretty cool uh, technology, and it looks like there's going to be so cool we didn't even get to the story. Some triple X <laughs> software oh, available for it here. We'll talk about virtual reality porn here in moments. Eight fifty five four fifty three is the toll free number. You can take control of the airwaves. It's Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 9938 Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leading them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. 
While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. And, of course, you can join us via Skype at Skype username lrn.fm join us on our website go get interactive at freetalklive.com you can actually put content there on the front page of the site you can vote on what has uh, you can already been submitted you vote it up if you like vote it down if you don't and that helps us know what you think is interesting of course the best way to find out what you think is interesting is if you just call in toll free at 855-450 free we're talking uh, technology of the future it's just around the corner. The Oculus Rift. In fact, Syfay is one of our uh, producers online. Tells me that the consumer edition of the Oculus Rift is being targeted for April through summer of 2015. So hey, look who was right. We are less than <laughs> a year away from the Oculus Rift. I don't know when Samsung's going to get theirs out. I heard they were shooting for Christmas this year. Uh, so it's all. It's it seems really season. Samsung's to me is like Google Glass. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's very similar to what you were talking about with it's the, not. the Google Cardboard No, thing. it's not. It's like a holder for their for It's their like having a large screen TV in front of your face. It's not the, nearly the same. It's not. If really? You, yeah. They're no. marketing it as though it's going to be a competitor with uh, Oculus. Of Rift. course they are. Okay. <laughs> because right. because I haven't can, tried any of these things, so I'm yeah. not going to pass judgment on it until- I've read, I read the specs, you know, and there's yeah. a huge difference between like 120 degree field of view or something like that, or 210 degree field of view and like, you know, like a 90 degree field So you're field saying this view. isn't going to fill anybody? vision no okay. it's just like a big it's, it's, like, a, it's like, like having a, big movie screen. a movie screen in front okay. of you. you know it's like whatever it's another so it's another tv glasses we can deal. talk more about the the tech in a moment where's the software going to go is really the big question the technology it's on its way but uh, apparently the porn industry is about to jump in Toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. Is privacy dead? Not if you have anything to say about it. On November 7th and 8th, coders, privacy specialists, and idea people of all stripes will join together for Hack the Trackers, a transparency and privacy hackathon brought to you by Ghostery. You can er enter online or join them in person in New York City and create tools that make the web a more transparent place or help users manage how much data they share. The hacks will be judged by experts and voted on by an online community. Winners will receive a prize package, including the all-new Black Phone, a secure-by-design smartphone for people who recognize a need for privacy and want a simple, secure place to start. Participation's free. Registration is open now. Visit hackthetrackers.com for more information. That's hackthetrackers.com. Stories from Breitbart.com. The world of porn is about to change with the introduction of Oculus Rift's virtual reality technology where users will no longer just be viewers, but active participants. Available in 2015, Oculus Triple X will transform your home <laughs> into a virtual reality house of ill repute and will provide consumers with the ability to create the anatomical partner of one's choice. From Here's color a question. How fast will Facebook block that? <laughs> hmm. Well, yeah, I guess uh, do you, will Facebook have control over all of the software that one can run on an Oculus? Who knows? Facebook bought it. Yeah, that's a good point. And certainly Facebook is known for their restrictive uh, nudity policies. In fact, right. uh, some people being up, uh, you know, the, they're also you can known only for... use an Oculus Rift if you give us your real name. <laughs> <laughs> they're also known for not making much of a profit. And uh, this is a way to change all that. Yeah, I don't know what the policies are going to be, but the prediction here is that it's going to be. Now, if this doesn't make it onto the Facebook Oculus, then it'll make it somewhere. Right. Johnson. I mean, sure. 3D sex is just a matter of uh, a matter of time. Google just bought made a huge uh, um, investment into a company called Magic Leap or something like that. Or Magic Leap. I have the Leap controller. Is that what you're talking no, about? No, it's some new thing um, that essentially is has to do with virtual reality. I don't know exactly what it is. I just know hmm. that Google made a big jump in that direction and it looks like they're going to step in and do something to compete with fascinating Oculus. yeah i'd be very interested to hear more about that because the leap controller is also a neat little piece of hardware mm. it's it's essentially you can put your hands over top of it and move them about and do all kinds of different things without ever having to touch anything right so it is essentially a virtual reality controller and i think i've read stuff about you know with the oculus being combined if i think it's mentioned in this article as a matter of fact combining the leap with the oculus would uh, you know allow you to reach into virtual reality and mm -hmm. see your hands hands in virtual reality i would love to see more stuff like that happen anyway in general just to see uh 
less thing less interfaces that have to be touched. Touch. Yeah, so that you can um I, I don't know, just less transference of germs, but maybe also I mean, I think of like drive throughs and you know, well if vending sex becomes virtual and... then there won't be any problem with transferring germs, that's for sure. <laughs> and uh, the pro- program here according to the story at Breitbart says that you'll be able to to uh, choose the anatomical partner of your choice from color of hair to breast size to any other body part that warrants an adjustment. Moreover, according to the Daily Beast, you can design the specific sexual act or positions you desire, perhaps including sex that you may be too embarrassed to ask for in real life. Ryan Schuster, founder and CEO. People are going to cease coming out of their homes. That's already happening. If you look at uh, massively multiplayer online role-playing games, there's a huge problem, which we've talked about over the years here on Free Talk Live, where people will immerse themselves completely within the world of these massively multiplayer online role-playing games. In fact, you two were talking about one of them uh, right before the <laughs> show started. Well, it's not really a role-playing game. You guys are playing a massively multiplayer online game. Right. Uh, but uh, it's become quite the obsession it's for It's like for massively mo- multiplayer online capture the flag. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. You're playing Google's Ingress. But the uh, the online role-playing games, they have these sort of stories that go on too and, uh, you know, this all never-ending fighting and the people that are fans of these games will will suffer uh, ends of relationships they'll suffer starvation i mean since we since we brought it up actually and since we're it, i mean ingress is actually really interesting to talk about in the in line with this subject because ingress is altered reality it's, it's it is it is in line with the magic lape thing that i was bringing up and it is in line with something like an oculus if if an oculus rift would this is something that i've wanted to see happen with the oculus rift is Oculus Rift immerses you into, you know, a virtual reality, right? That's right. Because it's a screen that's in front of your face, but it doesn't have to. What you could have is you could have cameras on the front of it so that Mm -hmm. you put the thing on and then you see what you would ordinarily see because the cameras show your eyes exactly what you would ordinarily see, right? And then they could layer over that. It could layer over that and show you additional information. And that's what is called. Heads up display. Right. Heads up display, augmented reality. Um, So, you know, you look at someone and maybe if it had facial recognition software, this is the terrifying, you know, where it goes. You look at somebody, facial recognition software, it shows their ID above their head. Just like the Terminator. It would would be very useful at conventions and that sort of thing when we go there. (laughs) So weird, though. I can't remember. People walking around with these things on. Yeah, (laughs) even if their ID badge is in their pocket, it reads the RFID tag or something. I can't. I remember people's names sometimes. It's like, well, what company does he work for? You know, that kind well, of thing. That's why name badges are useful at conventions. They Any are. Any convention worth their salt yeah, has a Yeah, but if somebody's standing badge. away from you and there are three people in the way and their thing pops up over their head, you know, you'd still yeah. be able to see it in the, in the air. Above oh, their head. Many people try to hide their name badges, too. They're like, oh, I put that? this on. I don't know. You know, or yeah. perhaps, it, you you know, if it's got a fast enough computer, you know, you see somebody and they don't look necessarily like themselves. They look like a cat or, you know, like... They have altered, you know, they've altered their appearance. You know, maybe they're, you know, in in, in real world, they're a yeah, brunette and augmented reality, they're blonde. This you is going like, to take stuff like that. Uh, things like Second Life to the next level. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, that's for sure. So Brian Schuster, founder and CEO of virtual reality network o- Utherverse, contends that Oculus Rift is better suited to bring in-your-face 3D porn to the consumer than the movie studios. He maintains that, quote, the studios doing major motion pictures weren't exactly equipped to capture how the inner labia works. The what? Hell? <laughs> this is a serious news article, by the way, from Breitbart. There's more coming up here in moments. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit more because because virtual reality sex is going to be of two types, I would think. One would be the digital, you know, s- sort of fake world of uh, VR characters. And then the other one would be actual video recorded right. in some sort of porn studio. More coming up here in moments. You can share your thoughts. 855-450-FREE. Take control of Free Talk Live. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu-fighting products. Also 
explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Officials for the Centers for Disease Contraction and Preservation held a press conference urging all Americans to suck on as many doorknobs as possible. This flu season, the Center for Disease Contraction is recommending that all Americans, regardless of age or health condition, find a doorknob in a high traffic area, wrap their mouths around it, and vigorously lick and suck it until they contract an illness. We recommend sucking doorknobs covered in a visible film of human hand grease. But the fact is, sucking on any doorknob can increase the likelihood of exposing yourself and your family to deadly pathogens by as much as 450 percent. An instructional video released on the CDC's website showcases the proper method for sucking doorknobs while also providing tips for projecting all sneezes and coughs outward, sharing used Kleenexes and toilet paper with as many people as possible, eating three meals a day from local garbage cans, and dozens of other easy bacteria spreading activities. This is the Onion News Network. Did you know that Free Aid is a mutual aid, educational, and networking organization? At Free Aid, we support volunteers who provide first aid. We do outreach to the public about health and safety, and we bring together medically skilled freedom lovers. Free Aid is made possible by your generous support. Donors can receive great gifts like first aid kits, t shirts, silver dime cards, and hoodies. The Free Aid Silver Dime Card Project is sponsored in part by Roberts and Roberts Burkridge, Freedoms Phoenix, and Don't Tread on Meme. Visit fr33aid.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You're invited to take control of the airwaves. What's the killer app going to be for virtual reality? Because it's coming. Uh, it's going to be here sometime 2015, likely at the latest. Uh, you can join us here toll free at 855-450-FREE. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and join us on Skype. You can get into the conversation that way and you'll sound better than if you're on the phone typically. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Do you want to reach people with the ideas of liberty? Do it from the back of your car with LibertyStickers.com. You can reach thousands of people with a bumper sticker. You know people love to read them. Check out the vast selection of witty, poignant, pithy, and downright bombastic liberty-oriented messages at LibertyStickers.com. They've got some great ones there. I've got a few myself. LibertyStickers.com. Talking about the upcoming virtual reality technology, Mark, or not Mark, uh, Johnson, you had mentioned this Google getting into Magic Leap, and I thought mm -hmm. maybe you meant Leap Motion, which is uh, a sort of a virtual reality controller device. No, it's augmented reality stuff. Magic Leap, here's a story from The Verge. We can get into that, but they've uh, invested $542 million uh, in a round of funding for the secretive startup, Magic Leap. Nobody really knows what exactly they've got working, uh, apparently. We can talk more about you know, that. And it's funny, you know, I actually found out about Magic Leap through uh, the... Um, through a jobs group here for the Free State Project. 
Wait, they're hiring, you mean? Uh, yeah, they're hiring. Oh, wow. And somebody, and, uh, you know. So they're in New Hampshire? Yeah, somebody we know, William, posted, uh, a, a you know, things about them hiring jobs. I don't know if they're in New Hampshire, but. Maybe that, maybe Boston or something. Maybe, I don't know. So uh, more of the story about the the uh, the software because the hardware it's it's been designed basically they're tweaking it now and they're mm-hmm. gonna try to mass market it and and that's very exciting but if virtual reality is gonna take off it's got to have the software and certainly video games have for years been almost close to photo- photorealistic I mean they look so amazing these right. days this the software is there and of course uh, there's a lot of evidence that shows that the sex industry. Uh, the porn industry specifically has really been one of the leaders in uh, advancing certain technologies. HD quality video was really embraced by the porn industry before it went more mainstream. Uh, the porn industry was responsible for selecting VHS over beta, uh, basically. I mean, they were one of the major factors uh, in that. And so now you've got porn and or virtual reality sex that will be coming to these virtual reality headsets. This is the story from ByteBart, or Breitbart, rather. The magic formula for VR sex is integrating two new technologies, Oculus Rift and Leap Motion. Uh, Not to be confused with Magic Leap. Schuster explains Leap Motion employs a camera that adds the outside world into the VR world, such as your hands, eliminating the need for a keyboard or mouse. It's not exactly a true statement about Leap Motion. Leap Motion's yeah. infrared, I believe, not yeah. actually a camera device. But it can detect your your fingers. It can detect your hands, the positions of your hands, mm-hmm. and you can do various different things with it. It's only I, When it came out, I actually uh, pre-ordered it because I'd seen the tech tech demo for right. it online and it looked amazing and it really is i don't do much with it i you know plugged it in the first time downloaded some software and played with it and then you know plugged it in recently six months later and <laughs> played with it a little bit more <laughs> but it's uh, it's cool tech that that actually does what it's it promises to do so uh so again you can represent your hands in the digital world with this and of course you know some of the classic th- Apps for leap motion or painting right. or doing some sort of music composition or playing video games. You know, like you grab a ball and you throw it at something. I can imagine doing like 3D modeling. It would be kind of cool because then you could work with it almost like clay. Yeah, you can sort of move your hands to rotate the cameras and things like that. There was like a 3D Tetris that came out recently for it, which huh. was pretty neat. So um, anyway, going on here, everything you see is virtual, but now with your hands there, we can create menus, items you can just reach up, grab, point, and click, says Schuster. You can also interact with the environment. Not only can you navigate the menus, but you can grab a chair and drag it over or grab your partner and do things with him or her. (laughs) How realistic will Oculus Triple X be? The Beast reported that a recent Alien video game demo, which of course has nothing to do with porn, uh, using the same technology proved so realistic and frightening that it prompted questions as to whether or not it could provoke heart attacks. Pocket Lint described the Alien experience using the Oculus Rift headset in this way, quote, For a moment or two, we actually stopped breathing, too panicked and terrified to do what the human body naturally does, lest we make a sound. Yes, it really is that good. Now, they're commenting on the experience of being in this Oculus Rift, right. Rift in this convincing, you know, virtual reality world with the the new Alien Isolation game. And I'm sure, like the game too, they could be programming in like if you know you have a microphone on your computer and it hears you breathing. Yeah, oh, the aliens the alien. know to come get yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, they totally could do that. So, um, but you know, the people who played this game just on a flat screen will also say it's a terrifying, you know, experience. So right. there's that. But it, I think it's speaking to how realistic it felt for people being in the Oculus Rift, and they're trying to take that and extend it out to what it would be like in a sex simulator. I don't know if I'm. I, I don't think. I don't think I'd be convinced by right. it at all. <laughs> I, I think it'd be really cheesy. But you know, some people might be into it. Well, there is a whole field of industry out there that I learned from a, a podcast, or actually a v- um, video podcast, or whatever, years and years ago, uh, by this guy by the name of Martin Sargent. It was called Web Drifter. He used to go to the freakiest internet weirdos he could find oh wow you know like i don't know if you remember way back when you remember like alex chu and his magnetic rings yeah okay like the life extension rings or you know uh like some guy who believes he's got a portal to another dimension in his living room that that kind of stuff time gene ray exactly those type of guys so uh this guy martin would go around and one of the guys he found was some guy out in pennsylvania whose whole industry is teledildonics (laughs) <laughs> oh no <laughs> it's real it's real and it's been real for a while so this guy was making videos with porn stars there does essentially and he had like this basically have you ever heard of a fleshlight uh yes without so, getting too uh no I, yeah descriptive it it's is like a, a flashlight re- receptacle for men yeah yes. prosthetic <laughs> a device. flashlight with a receptacle in the handle essentially yeah. um 
Well, imagine that receptacle that could move like an inchworm, sort of like pump okay. up and down, essentially, like, you know, and, and has like a thing that can control the pacing through software through the internet, essentially. Yes. Of, you know, how it moves and... And, and did it have a like a female version on the other side or something like um, that? Like there, yeah, there's that, and then there's they have instructions programmed in to match up with the timing on a video, and so this guy you know, is actually manufacturing stuff. this stuff, and yeah, it's been around for a little while. Oh, yeah, it's been around. I mean, because I think the the show that I'm talking about, Web Drifter, went off like mm -hmm. six or seven years ago at least. Went off. You and know, you think, you think it's still out there? Out. I mean, is it like Generation Three now? Or maybe <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, I imagine he's going to be talking to these guys uh, with the the software yeah, here, sure. whatever it's going to be. XBiz president Alec Helmy contends that with VR sex, quote, it's going to be a while before it really goes mainstream in terms of a device for mass consumption of entertainment or content. However, he adds, quote, undoubtedly this technology is going to be a game changer for porn. At the end of the day, you could create the most immersive, incredible experience. But if the device is not in too many hands and that limits the commercial potential of it. Now, all they would really have to do, and I think that I agree with the, the ex-biz president here, the real, you know, the, the, the most useful thing from the porn industry's perspective is that this is a virtual reality glasses, the 3D glasses, so they could start shooting their porn movies sort of, uh, they already have the point of view perspective or whatever porn, they would just start shooting it in 3D and then they could market a 2D version of it and a 3D version of it. Just That'd be like relatively the, easy. Just like the movies do today, people will put it on their little you know device and they'd have essentially a private uh, consumption of whatever pornography that they wanted and it would look... I guess really funny real. from the outside is what it would look. Yeah, it would. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will always look funny if you get caught uh, playing with yourself, Mark. Yes, but yeah. this is going to this is going to bring it to a whole new level. So I need your reaction from this, Ian, and I know this is going to be a plug, but go to k i i r o o dot com. K i i r o o dot com. Yep. Well, what is it for people who can't go? It's not a word in English, in right? Well, it apparently is the world's most advanced teledildonic masturbator. Tele tele technology designed for lovers, no matter how far apart. <laughs> so how this delightful. is the guy. This is the guy you were talking about. I don't know if it's the guy I was talking about, but I just did a web search for teledildonics, and this is one of the first companies that came up. There you go. You got two hundred and fifty dollars. You can get one. <laughs> so I yeah, I think cheesy uh, is is certainly the right term here, especially for the software that you know the the VR simulators. I you know, I imagine it, they'll they'll be popular though. It just seems like. It seems like, you know, if you were going to be doing that, uh, if you were, you would be experiencing something like that, wouldn't it seem even less real and even less lifelike if it was, uh, you know, enveloping your field of view with some sort of 3D other person? Seems weird. Your thoughts are welcome. 855-450 free. Would you do this? Would you get the VR sex program? It's free talk live. The event you've been waiting for is here. Lumber Liquidators, third annual full flooring yard sale. It's your chance to get first quality, full warranty, direct from the mill flooring at unbelievable closeout prices. Like oak laminate for an incredible 19 cents a square foot and pre-finished three-quarter inch solid maple for just $149. Plus beautiful bamboo for 63% less than other stores. Take advantage of our 20 years of savings with 20-month special financing and get even more unheard of flooring deals in our stores. Full flooring yard sale is Thursday through Monday only. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. 
If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative. Freedomsphoenix.com. Constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways. With liberty and property under constant attack, FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda, and it encourages the participation of its readers. Go to FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com. The revolution between the ears has already happened. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 this is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in here toll-free, 855-450-FREE. You can join us online over at freetalklive.com. All the features that we share with you are available for free, so enjoy again freetalklive.com. Uh, with you tonight in the studio, you've got Ian here. And Johnson. And Mark. Coming up, Keenvention is right around the corner, just about one week from today. It is crunch time uh, for those of us organizing Keenvention. The news just came out today about Hallow Keen, which is happening for the first time this year. Now, Keenvention is a great excuse for folks to come to Keen, come to New Hampshire, check out uh, New Hampshire in the fall. Now, it's a little bit towards sort of the, the late season in fall in that you're going to be past the peak, so so don't come up thinking it's going to be the most beautiful leaf peeping season. It's yeah. it's not. Uh, the reason why Keenvention is so affordable is because we schedule it for the week after the prices go down when leaf peeping right. season's over. And so the you know the uh, the hotel it's actually really affordable. It's like eighty bucks a night. You can divvy that up between a couple, two, three, four people, and uh, you know make things real cheap to stay. Now, and Keenvention like, itself is just sixty dollars for the entire weekend. It's looking like they might get some leaves though. There might still be some. There's left. usually some. Last yeah. year there were there were some some. Yeah. Trees these were kind of holdouts, yep. and uh, you'll get. So I've a seen bit. some that are still green, you know. So it'll yep. be, you know. Yeah, yeah I, th I think it'll be okay, but it yeah. won't. It, we're past peak, though. I right. can tell. I can tell we're you. We're like, I don't know. I mean, past it, peak. if, if yeah. it gets sunny, it's still pretty good right now. But it's, yeah. I mean, in a week, it's going to be done. You know. So Keenvention is an activist convention. It is something that focuses on New Hampshire-based activists because the Free State Project is the destination here. This is the reason why the three of us are here in New Hampshire is because of the Free State Project. Keenvention is not an official Free State Project event, but we will be having Carla Garrick, who's the president 
of the Free State Project as one of the keynote speakers. So all the curriculum in Keenvention focuses on the activists. These are the people who are making the headlines. These are the people with their boots on the ground. Mark, you're going to be heading up uh, one of the panels this year about media, being in the media as uh, as an activist. Indeed. And uh, all of the panelists have been announced pretty much at this point over at Keenvention.info. There's one or two more panels that have yet to be fully announced. Now, with all these liberty activists and all these people, uh, you know, from the Free State Project and whatnot, coming to uh, the Bass Western here in Keene, mm -hmm. um, the question is, is, have they set up anything to deal with all the riots that you start? <laughs> <laughs> The hotel's not really concerned about us, considering we've been there in the last year and they had a great experience with us. But Johnson, there is the concern of uh, protesters coming to Keenevention this year. They apparently, someone, some anonymous male, has been calling the hotel repeatedly, multiple times, I guess, mm -hmm. per week for the last few weeks, and essentially harassing them about having Keenevention there. Right. And the hotel, you know, they're not too happy with with uh, the the man calling. They're fine right. with with Keenevention. You know, we're paying customers, and they're going to do their jobs, and it's going to be fine. Uh, but this guy promised to have a protest outside of the hotel, and the hotel told him that they would be removing his protest from the premises if he decided to come on the property. So odds are good he's there. There's a good chance someone will be having a protest, maybe more than one person outside of the hotel property. Yeah. And who knows what else? And you know, as far as I'm concerned, if somebody wants to come in and pay, uh, you know, the day charge or buy a ticket at the door, I don't care what their ideology is. Right. I'm not going to turn somebody away just because they're like a known hater. Come on in, sit down. Let's talk about activism. I, would, for one, would love to just see them come out and protest outside of the hotel in the cold, and then have you know the people chilly. who are coming in to visit go up to talk to them and have them not say anything. That tends to be how it's a way to get your things. message out there to right. have people to go. Oh, look, the people who protest, you know, free Keen and, and Keen are really stupid. No, well, all they, uh, all their message is is hatred. It's just a message of anger. It's a message of uh, we're frustrated. We don't know what to do, right. but we hate these people. So let's insult their weight. Let's insult their uh, sexual proclivities. Let's insult whatever we can about uh, about them as a as a person. That's what it comes down to. So Keenvention could be the very first. Uh, protested convention up here because we've had years of pork fest and right. the Liberty Forum, which the Free State Project has been putting on, and I don't think we've ever had protesters at uh, at either of those events. I don't so. think you'll have them this year either. You I think you'll, really you either. think the doodle chicken out? It's just too it much is. work. <laughs> You may be These right are about slacktivists that. at the very height of slacktivism. That's a good point. It's a possibility. But it's interesting because the position of the hotel, the lady who I've been talking to, she's like, look, they say a lot of stuff about you guys, but our experience with you has always been pleasant, and it looks like they're the ones who are causing the problem. I don't know. It's still, you know, Keenvention is happening on you know, the day of Halloween, so there's still plenty of time for them to take out their power drill and, you know, <laughs> make some more stop freaking pumpkins. <laughs> That they don't like. Which is what happened at Pumpkin Fest this year. Yeah. <laughs> so join us for Keenvention. It's coming up October 31st through November 2nd. It's going to be a great time, and there's still things being announced, like the Halloween costume party, which is happening on not Halloween this year. It's going to be a half, just due to conflicts. It has to be on November 1st. Uh, but nonetheless, it will still be as fun as it would be. Johnson, you've selected the musical uh, accompaniment for mm -hmm. this. Uh, you put that together already. Derek J. and uh, your, uh, Danica. There's going to be some edits, I think, a little bit. But yeah, it's mostly done. So that's how happening there's gonna be great tunes there's gonna be a costume contest christopher cantwell our wednesday night host is going to be giving a uh, sort of the inaugural uh, comedy set to kick the whole party off and it's all going it's gonna be fun and it's all going to be for a good cause as well because all the you know the door entry fees will be going to benefit ross ulbricht who is the man who's accused of running the silk road uh, you can go to freeross.org. You can contribute to Ross's legal defense. If you know anything about the Silk Road, you know it's an underground uh, dr drug marketplace and other things marketplace. You can buy like fake IDs and stuff like that there. And it has been around now for over two years. Actually, it's now three years, basically, that the Silk Road's been around because Silk Road, even though the FBI took it down in October of 2013, it came back in November 2013 to Silk Road 2.0, and Silk Road 2.0 is still going strong. In fact, I posted a message on their forums announcing the Halloween party. So I figure, you know, the folks at the Silk Road might want to come to the party if they're in the area. Anyway, go and check it out at uh, keenvention.info. We'll look forward to seeing you there. So, you guys, I mean, what do you think? Uh, sex software for virtual reality. 
Would it be something that uh, were you a single well, man that uh, that you would engage in? No, but uh, one of the things you said during the last time was you said something about something taking up your field of vision. This like three D thing, like it didn't make sense to me what exactly you were asking. Well, it just seems cheesy to me. Like you know, I understand that video games are close to photorealistic, but. Right. What, the, what they're talking about here, there's two kinds of things that would be operable on this virtual reality for for you know triple X content. One would be software, where you would be having sex with some software girl. Right. You know, she would look like polygons, I would guess, at some level. Right. And then the other would be live video made in a porn studio. Right. It would seem to me the latter would be more popular because it would be more realistic, even though it wouldn't have the ability of controlling right. the character. The polygons are getting really, I mean, you're looking at what PS4 coming out mm -hmm. now. Yeah. I mean, it's getting pretty realistic. So I'm more interested. Not that in realistic, though. I mean, it, it, it's you would not be fooled into believing that you were, you know, having sex with a real woman. And uh, I just don't. It seems like. Have you cheesy. ever seen the movie Roger Rabbit? Yes. So, Jessica Rabbit, what do you think? I'm not a huge fan, <laughs> but I know there are a lot of people who who are. Right. Yeah. And now they can live their dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned that on one of the breaks, and I think it's interesting to point <laughs> that uh, you would be able to load up a sex cartoon. Right. Which may be more uh, convincing and, and more interesting to people than somebody trying to simulate with virtual reality and, and actual it's going to enter into a whole scene. new world a whole new world well this is going to be funny that that aladdin my of laughing at the whole them. new world is going to be yeah. funny in, in a second because i was, was going to say a whole new world of copyright problems for mm. example where you know you yeah, finally Disney's get to find gonna... out what's under aerial scales right yeah disney's you know? <laughs> not going to like that very much because there are going to be yeah cartoons that are you know that's what people are going to do because it's 3D animation. I mean, essentially 3D models, but essentially they're you're bringing things from the screen into real life. That's uh, more convincing to right. me than having virtual reality, like trying to simulate yeah. a, a real woman to to just well, embrace the fakeness but even, of it. Yeah. and to but even simulating real women. I mean, they, you could also be simulating like oh, all these guys now, slave Leia. Uh -huh. You know, you, you got to think of all the geek, you know, cliches that you can mm -hmm. possibly think of. Well, you can't basically you can't stop porn. There's there's no stopping it. It is the you know, once the Internet came around, porn was first. I remember yeah. in 1993, somebody showing me one of these GIF things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 20, 256 colors, whatever they were. And this it's it's going to keep on pushing the envelope. Enough people are going to get involved in this that mm -hmm. it's going to push the envelope further. And that's what's going to continue to happen. I'm more interested in, uh, you know, the the first person player role playing games. That so would you go wouldn't on be in into these. the Simpsons porn or anything like that. No, I'm not really interested no. in the Simpsons. And, porn. And now, you. <laughs> you know, now I can bring up the fact I'm sure you guys you guys discussed the fappening, right? The uh, yeah we did a little bit. This was the release of the hundreds of pictures, uh, of videos, from, modern day celebrities. You yeah. know, like current celebrities. Naked and, well, pics. Now these naked pics can be used to render computer models of them. You know, I think like, so. and then their image can be used in this this type of stuff. You know, so that yeah. that's the type of thing that's probably going to happen too. I just think that would be pretty cheesy, but I do sure. But I I'm sure like there's the also going to be celebrities that actually. Work like with the studios to actually, in. you know, yeah, work yeah. with the studios to actually do something. Get like porn stars or whatever scanning sure. their uh, body, you know, their motion capture and things like that. And that yep. technology already exists, of yep. course. Uh, toll free number is 855 450 free. So that's coming up soon. You can uh, bring up whatever's on your mind here tonight. Still to come here, uh, Johnson has brought in some audio of how to make a progressive lose their <laughs> S is the name of yeah. this video where you pulled it from. We'll play that, and I'm not sure why you're bringing it, so you have to explain that coming okay. up here in moments. And you can also take control of the airwaves. Plus, Mark has 11 types of people libertarians are fed up with. Majid lives in Nord Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. coffee.freetalklive.com. 
talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.13 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,234 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $369. Antiwar.com reports, over seven years after the notorious Nysor Square massacre, former American Blackwater mercenaries have been found guilty of various charges related to the shootings that killed 14 and wounded 17 others. Among the convictions, Nicholas Slatton was found guilty of first-degree murder. According to court documents, Slatton had bragged about his disregard for civilian life and said he wanted to kill as many Iraqis as he could as payback for 9-11. Three other guards were found guilty of several counts of manslaughter and attempted manslaughter, but no counts of murder. None of the slain or wounded Iraqis were armed. The Nitro Square incident was the beginning of the end for Blackwater, which was banned outright by Iraq in 2009. The company has sought to escape the negative image of the massacre, changing its name to Z Services, spelled X-E, in 2010, and then again to Academy in 2011. Incredibly, the State Department continues to use the company for guards overseas. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long-term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800-874-9760. The Associated Press reports an investigation revealed a scandal involving bogus classes and inflated grades at the University of North Carolina was bigger than previously reported, encompassing about 1,500 student-athletes who got A's and B's over a span of nearly two decades. At least nine university employees were fired or placed under disciplinary review, and the question now becomes what, if anything, the NCAA will do next. Penalties could range from fewer scholarships to vacated victories. Most of the athletes were football players or members of the school's cherished basketball program, which won three of its five national titles during the scandal. The report by former U.S. Justice Department official Kenneth Weinstein found in all about 3,100 students enrolled in classes they did not have to show up for in what was deemed a shadow curriculum within the former African and Afro-American Studies Department from 1993 to 2011. Many at the university hoped the eight-month investigation would bring some closure Instead, it found more academic fraud than previous investigations by the NCAA and the school. Howard Gardner, a professor at Harvard's Graduate School of Education who studies cheating, said the UNC case stands out among academic scandals at Harvard, Duke, and the Naval Academy. 
You can support FPP Radio by shopping online. Whether you're looking for t-shirts, precious metals, bitcoins, or books, you'll find that and more at shop.fppradio.com. Every purchase you make from one of my affiliates at shop.fppradio.com helps fund FPP Radio. That's shop.fppradio.com. Reuters reports a veteran Illinois political reporter quit his job at the Chicago Sun-Times on Wednesday and accused the newspaper of bowing to pressure from Republican gubernatorial candidate Bruce Rauner by removing him from the campaign beat. Dave McKinney, a 19-year veteran of the paper who covered the state capitol, said in his resignation letter that the paper reassigned him after the Rauner campaign accused him of conflict of interest, which he denies. The Rauner campaign had asked the Sun-Times to disclose McKinney's marriage to a Democratic Party consultant when ran the reporter's story on allegations Rauner threatened a former executive at one of his companies. McKinney said in his resignation letter, posted on his personal blog, that his wife was contractually barred from consulting on the gubernatorial race, adding that a disclosure of conflict of interest would not have been true. McKinney said the Sun-Times stopped assigning him to cover the gubernatorial campaign after publishing an article by him and two other reporters that alleged Rauner made bullying statements to the former executive who threatened to sue one of his companies. Sometimes editor Jim Kirk said McKinney's reassignment was temporary and not orchestrated by the Rauner campaign. The newspaper last week reversed a three-year policy of not endorsing political candidates. Its lone endorsement of the 2014 campaign was Bruce Rauner for governor. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. A study published Friday by the University of Minnesota found that mosquitoes have no physiological reason for biting humans, with researchers noting that the insects feed exclusively on pollen and seemingly only suck human blood out of spite. According to our findings, mosquitoes usually spit out the blood after a bite. They just really enjoy ruining outdoor activities and spreading deadly diseases. Researchers added that mosquitoes often bite a variety of vertebrates besides humans, including baby pandas, koala bears, and very small puppies, all for fun. And in tech news, a new Visa talking credit card urges buyers to go for it. Come on, buy it. You know you want it. In other news, the utterance of a secret password grants customers access to a long-rumored 18-inch Subway sandwich. It's easy to tell what an area man would look like as a skeleton, and a longtime teacher retires without changing a single student's life. This week's scheduled interview with a surly and forlorn Matthew Modine was cut for time and is doomed to never be seen. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free, bring up anything you want. Kind of talking tech here so far tonight, but coming up, Johnson will be sharing with us a uh, video, which will play the audio track from, of how to make a progressive lose their S. That's the title of the video. Uh, We'll see what you think about it. You're certainly welcome to comment on anything that happens to be on your mind. The toll-free number here tonight is 855-450-FREE, and you can join us online at freetalklive.com. Join us via Skype at Skype username. LRN.FM. So Johnson mentioned in the last hour this uh, leap, uh, magic leap is what it's called. And uh, I got an article about this. It was published two days ago. Uh, This is essentially going to be Google's competition, supposedly, to the Oculus Rift. The Facebook owned Oculus Rift. So two of the biggest. Two, the two biggest uh, technology companies out there, web companies, are uh, jumping into com- competition uh, with one another here. Do you think it just makes sense to just buy stock in both these companies because one of them is bound to win, win the internet net? Um, or do you think they're both going to crumble and fall that's an excellent in relatively question. near f- future? Because there's not too many companies that have been sort of around. Amazon's a good example of one that has. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, sort of... Since the mid '90s, mid to late '90s, you know who's who's here that wasn't here before, and Google's a relatively newcomer. Too com- newcomer since the late '90s. I mean, they're not uh, they're not that new. Well, I remember them uh, sort of showing up, uh, you know, in my, on my radar in like 2000, 2001. Well, they've been around for ten years at least now. I think they had their ten Certainly. anniversary. They've been like, around for much longer than ten years. Really, Google? I'm pretty sure they were around in the late '90s. 
Well, they might not was, have really taken off until there was a time in 2000 uh, because I remember where we were working, Ian, mm-hmm. and it was sort of like which which search engine should I be using? Should I be using Alta Vista or Lycos or founded uh, September Yahoo? 4th, 1988 or 1998? That's fine, okay. but when did they get in? When did they become Google? You know, like the the, I'd say the, the early verb. Aughts. I'd say the early aughts was when that happened. I would say it would be the the early aughts too, and I. You know, at some point or another, it's like, oh yeah, this is the search engine you use. But I wasn't sure. There was a time when Alta I was like, Vista used to be the one I used okay. a long time ago. I, that's Yahoo probably was, the reason course, I used it. Yahoo was, of course, the big the big one before there was Google. Anyway, um, we can talk more about this technology here in a moment. Plus, we'll play Johnson's audio of the progressive guy getting really upset at a couple of questions from some libertarian types. Google's IPO was in two thousand and three. Let's go so. to that should give you some indicator of that they were popular by then. Right. right? Uh, so let's go to Richard. He's in Northeast California. You're on Free Talk Live with Ian Johnson and Mark. Richard in California, going once. Richard in California, going twice. Maybe we're having some technical difficulties, in which case we'll put Richard back on hold, see if that can get worked out. So according to the story at TheVerge.com, Google is leading a huge $542 million round of funding. For the secretive startup, Magic Leap, which is said to be working on augmented reality glasses that can create digital objects that appear to exist in the world around you. Uh, now, that's different than... Uh, so fun for Ingress. <laughs> that's, that's different than, you know, some sort of go- pair of goggles that occludes you from the world around you. This would give you a heads-up display rather than, a you know, it's essentially a screen to watch. I know Google's acquiring this. Prim- like, I know one of the major reasons why they're doing this is for Ingress, too, because... In all the marketing videos for Ingress, I'm sure you've seen some of them, they are always showing, like, they do an overlay of the mm-hmm. portals on, the, like, the the areas, because the whole purpose of Ingress is essentially it's augmented reality. So um, it's based on, you take a picture of, like, a landmark around town. Like, mm-hmm. for example, like Keen has the central square where it's got statues and the gazebos and all that stuff. And they always show, on major landmarks, when they're showing marketing videos, they show, like, you know, a portal with the lines and the ley lines going around and whatnot. Right. what the like game these... should look like if it were available in 3d which it is right. not at this right. time it's just a game that you play on your phone and it's you it's know essentially it's a map based game a cool you know altered gps is essentially what it is yeah. now yeah yeah and it's very very popular there yeah. are i don't know what millions of people playing hundreds of thousands i've of people. met people in the area already started meeting people from the game so yeah. it's really interesting so uh and ingress is an interesting game in that it's uh, it's a physical game you actually have to walk places you you have to go places in order right. to score points and, and things like that. Like I feel actually even like it's you know to talk about the game. It's I feel nervous sharing this information that, that I you're met a people. player. <laughs> no, not only that I'm a player, but with you two being enemies, <laughs> I feel like I'm sharing uh, secret information with you. the opposing side here by by saying that I've, I've met people from the game. So um, anyway, th- so yeah, what you're saying is you think that Google's going to use this, and I wonder if it's going to be combined with their Google Glass because doesn't Google Glass already give you a heads up display? I've never tried them out personally but i've seen people using them and that's what i understand it's it not to be. really a heads-up display a heads-up display has to be overlaid over your field of vision the heads-up display has to know what you're seeing well, a heads-up display yeah it has to know what you're seeing whereas you're just looking up into the left into oh i see what you're you know, saying like, yeah 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 you know. okay so these this magic leap would take Google Glass to the next level then basically because it would right. it would give you a full heads up display across your your field. I of guess vision. that's what they're working on. That's the th- supposed claim here. The funding is that uh, to me is worth my time. At Google Glass, I've always been like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's a, a gimmick. The well, funding- it's not that I, I'm interested in Google Glass because of all the things that it can do. However, it's just really expensive right, right. now. Mm. Um, if it was. If it was the cost of a good smartphone, then that would be a different story. Especially if it could also just be your smartphone, you know, like something like yeah, that. Yeah, it has to connect to the smartphone, and that would probably it also make has it pretty to heavy. not look terrible because if you're going to be wearing it all the time, <laughs> it doesn't look terrible. Looks Go- fine. Google's placing a big bet on this. In addition to the funding, Android and Chrome leader Sundar Pichai will join the Magic Leap's board as well. Google's corporate development president. The funding is also coming directly from Google itself, not from an investment arm like Google Ventures, all suggesting this is a strategic move to align the two companies and eventually partner when the tech is more mature down the road. Magic Leap's technology currently takes the shape of something like a pair of glasses, according to the Wall Street Journal. Rather than displaying images on the glasses or projecting them out into the world, Magic Leap's glasses reportedly project their image right onto the wearer's eyes. And apparently to some stunning effects. 
saying, quote, uh, this is the CEO of Legendary Pictures, Thomas Tull, saying, it was incredibly natural and almost jarring. You're in the room, and there's a dragon flying around. It's jaw-dropping, and I couldn't get the smile off of my face. That's awesome. Legendary. <laughs> there's a f- dragon flying around I hope the room. That's just this not- guy's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a friendly dragon, like Puff. Yeah. Anyway. You know what? I went diving one time. We were near some dolphins. They petrified me, too. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> if I'm in some different world and something's bigger than me, I'm urinating, and I want to get out of there as quickly <laughs> as possible. Legendary also took part in this round of investment alongside Qualcomm and a bunch of other companies. Uh, the eclectic mix of companies participating in this investment round speak how broadly to how broadly Magic Leap sees its potential. The founder says he wants the company to become a creative hub for gamers, game designers, writers, coders, musicians, filmmakers, and artists. Legendary, which makes films including Godzilla and The Dark Knight, is interested in its potential for movies, and Google likely sees far more ways to put it to use. Technology sounds like it could be an obvious companion to Google Glass, but for now, the journal reports they're not being integrated. Magic Leap declined to comment on what might happen down the road, and nonetheless, the investment appears to be Google betting on augmented reality as the future of computing, pitting it in a fight against other virtual reality competitors I mean, like just, the Oculus Rift. Just think, like, in combination with something like the Kinect, or like the Leap controller, things that allow motion you to, detecting, yeah, devices. motion detecting controllers that you know where you don't require any sort of other controller to interact with in order to interact with the environment. I mean, it's just the potential there is just huge. I mean, think about yeah. uh, you want to redesign something in your home, but you don't know if the couch is going to fit there. So you go to a 3D object library, something like the Google SketchUp library, mm-hmm. download a couch that's the dimensions of the couch that you want to put in your room. And then it's there in the room virtually, and you can move it around, and you mm. see it there in the room, and move it up against the wall, and you see, oh, well, it fits there. You know, like, yeah. that's just one example of the use. Or what if you're a surgeon, and you need to, you know, see what you would be doing, you know, like the operation. I mean, just, there's so many uses for this type of thing. It's It's pretty huge. mind-boggling, and, you know, we're just scratching the surface, likely, of the really original software that someone will come up with later on once, you know, they get the development kits out there and people really start cracking on this stuff. Uh, So very exciting. That's all coming down the pipe very soon. Probably you'll see this stuff in 2015. Uh, At the latest, we'll keep you up to date as we know more. It certainly isn't a tech show. You can call in about anything that happens to be on your mind. Coming up, there was a video recorded, and the video itself is not so great. The quality of uh, video is like very, very dark, but the audio is uh, is pretty pretty good. And uh, Johnson, you brought this in tonight. It's uh, we've we've censored the words yep. that can't go out over the FCC airwaves here, and we'll play that coming up for you in moments. How to really upset a so-called progressive? We'll come back with that. Eight fifty-five, four fifty, free. Take control. Look, kid. When guys like us walk into a facility in the morning, we can smell a problem. No one needs to hand us a work order. We already know it. Today, for instance, we need a new gearbox, six globe valves, and a dozen ballasts. And when I smell a problem, Granger smells that I smell a problem. They help me keep this place up and running. Now that's the kind of smell I like. The sweet smell of success. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a 
powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. More more Free Talk Live now for you. You can uh, dial in toll-free here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Coming up, we're going to play some audio that Johnson brought in. He wanted to really share this. How to Make a Progressive Lose Their S is uh, the title of the video that this came from. And I can post the link to that because I've got that too. I'll post right. that on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Uh, apparently, at least one of these guys is a Free State Project participant. Now, of course, the Free State Project is the idea of moving 20,000 liberty-oriented people all to the same place. And I got to say, somebody who's willing to uh, put the put a video like this out there and you know speak up for freedom and confront people in sort of the ambush journalism style, I, I always have an appreciation for people like that. So I look forward to this guy moving up to New Hampshire. I don't think he's moved quite yet from what I understand. But we'll play the audio for you here coming up. How to make a progressive lose their S. ISIS crisis or more hype? Antiwar.com has the answers. Antiwar.com has the facts. Antiwar.com has the readership. What Antiwar.com doesn't have is a pot of gold. The war machine has the magic of the Federal Reserve's printing press and the mainstream media. All Antiwar.com has is you. The Antiwar.com staff is down to a skeleton crew with minimal pay. They're committed to keeping the website up with the best of the worst of all the bad news, but they can't do this for free. They can't do it without you. They need your donation. Please go to antiwar.com and donate or call them today. They proudly and gladly take Bitcoin. Antiwar.com slash donate. It's antiwar.com because war is the health of the state. 
All right, so Johnson, how'd you come across this video that we're about to play the audio from? Actually, off of Reddit, um, the Libertarian Reddit subreddit, mm -hmm. um, and I just saw it and I watched it and I saw the, I guess it was the Students for Liberty shirt, and I thought it was a Free State Project shirt because it has kind of a big, porcupine. Yeah, you know, it's the it. FSP porcupine that's on there, and uh, I just watched the. I mean, it was seemed like generally kind of inane. It's like, oh, they're interviewing this like a Students for Liberty guy interviewing some guy who's just out to be an activist and uh, promote some, some politician. You know, progressive politician. But then the way the video plays out is just astounding. All right, so here's the audio from it. Jeff, nice to meet you. We're here with Students for Liberty. Can you hear me? This is good sound. Yep. Okay. So why are you out here supporting uh, Manu Trivedi? Uh, well, Manu Trivedi, uh, he wants to get money out of politics, which is the number one problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. He just wants to get the money out of politics. Yeah, it's yeah this guy. One there's an, another person that wants the ring of power that doesn't want the money that goes along no, with it. No, no, of course not. No. Even if they do, they'll end up being like Kucinich or um, Sanders. You know, it's really just a. Uh, it, but if you think about this, and I know this, this is not the meat of the video at all. We're going to get into that. But since he brought it up. Uh, money out of politics. It's a great campaign pledge. I mean, if you think about it, because it makes you sound like you're the person for the little guy, yep. right? That uh, you know, I don't care about all the power I'm going to get when right. you elect me. You're uh, you're against all those big corporations, and you know who likes those big corporations. But at the same time, it's a meaningless uh, campaign promise because there's no chance money's going to get out of politics. Even if your money out of politics guy gets in, he's not going to change the system to make the money right. get out of politics. If he does, he's not going to win. You know. Yeah, yeah. And another thing is that money is able to do is counteract the incumbency. Let's mm. not forget that incumbents get yeah. elected well above nine times out of ten. Right. I lost uh, the governor debate, not the governor debate, but the gov uh, gubernatorial race here. Only got four percent. I didn't have any money, nor if I did, would I spend it on a campaign like that. Right. But nonetheless, uh, it's a it's a great promise to make because it really means you never have to back Number it up. One problem okay. in politics is nothing gets done because everyone's working for their donors. And nothing accept, uh, gets done in politics. Again, another common uh, claim. We need right. to bring uh, bipartisanship to whatever D.C. or wherever this guy's yeah. running for. Bipartisanship and means we're really going to get screwed. That's what, that's what you should hear right. when you hear bipartisanship, because I mean, the politicians have agreed on something. Holy crap, I that's going to be bad. I don't know how anyone can look at the government and say nothing gets done. I mean, they're they're doing all kinds of things to people. I mean, they're not they're not, not the most efficient at doing the things that they do, but they do a lot of stuff. Much of it I don't want them to do, like, you know, warring, murdering people, putting people in prison who haven't hurt anybody else. I mean, they're doing a whole lot to a whole lot of people, and it's a whole lot of bad. So anyway, more campaign promises here. Working for their donors. And he doesn't accept uh, corporate PAC money, and he's gonna. He wants to overturn uh, Citizens United, mm -hmm. and he's more progressive on issues like health care, uh, the environment, investing in infrastructure, and you know. So basically, he's every politician that has ever <laughs> existed. All right. A host of a lot of other issues that I disagree with his opponent on, and men and he's, he's not just a Democrat who runs scared. He runs as a progressive, and he's. He's not ashamed of it, so that's why I gave up my time. So these progressive ideologies, that's what you hold dear, and you, you that's yeah. what you want to see out of your government is Absolutely. progressive Justice, ideals. quality for all. Yeah. Equal Justice. And you would say these are Except for rich people, because you, you always have to have a minority you're going to vilify, and progressives are very good at vilifying rich people. Now, look, consider for a second... There are two classes of rich people out there. There's a class of rich people who have used power and influence to accumulate wealth. Mm -hmm. And there's a class of rich people that have gotten where they've gotten by providing goods and services to other people that they've wanted to buy voluntarily. Sure. And, uh, you know, when you think about, uh, I don't know, who comes to mind, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates. Now, I'm sure they've used in some way or another power and influence to get uh, to get money. But largely what they were about was providing, at least early on at some point, they were about providing a good or a service to somebody uh, in order to, you know, make them happy and get money from them. And that is a fine way to get rich, in my opinion, because that means you have served your community well. That's right. And you, at that point, you have enough money, you can do whatever you want with it, and you can begin helping other people in an efficient fashion, because the government proposes to help people, but it doesn't propose to do it in a very efficient fashion. Nobody believes for a second that the government is going to help people in an efficient fashion. They say, ah, 
if we have to give money to four lazy bums that do nothing? <laughs> and I assume they're talking about the government bureaucrats collecting middle class paychecks at that point. But four lazy bums that do nothing in order to get it to one starving child. It's fine because it's not my money. It's a bunch of rich people's. But here is the point in the interview where it becomes not your average interview. Sure. Uh, so here we go. Equal opportunity. And you would say these are progressive ideals? Yeah. The idea of using a state or using more force and more violence to espouse your will? Yeah. No, I'm not for... I don't know where you came up with violence. So. Okay. So before we go on... <laughs> I don't know where you came up with violence. Now, this is an understandable thing for the progressive to say. Uh, and the, the the interview spirals out of control here, and the progressive really loses his S, as is promised in the, the video title. Right. Um, but Which is, is, I think, an unfortunate title. I don't think it's like, you know, it's not great that we're, hey, we're laughing at how the progressives just react. Right. But, you know. Because you're talking with somebody on the street, this person has no real rapport. Whoever the interviewer is doesn't mm -hmm. really have rapport with this guy. It's just some protester or some you know guy campaigning for Campaigner. a politician. You go out and there and you do your political activism. You need to be ready for whomever it is you're going to meet. This guy is either ready or he's not. I don't feel anything about how he's going. This isn't some dude that's been shopped, stopped on his way to the grocery store, okay? Right. This is a guy yeah. that likely um, you know, is, is out there to meet the community and may very well have initiated the uh, the contact. So we'll come back with uh, more of this here in a moment because I think the pro the the guy who's campaigning is definitely out of line in how he handles this interview. Right. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we'll share that re the rest of it. We're about halfway through at this point. There's more coming up, and you can take control as well. Share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right, General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right, that's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order 
and you're going to obey it. Which one you going to display? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring Simon to the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable you. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make. Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you're scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want here toll free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That number is brought to you by ProXPN. And if you care about online privacy, you need ProXPN. It's a great service. It's a, a global virtual private network. You can connect to different ProXPN servers around the world with their premium account. There's a free account as well that'll let you try out one of their servers, and uh, that's free at over at proxpn.com slash FTL. But when you connect to ProXPN, you will have your internet connection encrypted, which means your ISP will no longer be able to save your surfing history, which is what they're doing likely right now. Uh, you can use Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices, even Linux to get working with Pro XPN, and it's very simple setup process. Just go and download their app for most of those operating systems over at proxpn.com slash FTL. When you're ready to upgrade to their premium account to get the unlimited bandwidth, the uh, worldwide servers, private torrenting ability, plus get past regionally blocked websites, just put in our discount code FTL50, FTL like Free Talk Live, and 50 as in 50% off the price of the annual account. You punch that code in, you'll get it for just about five bucks a month on that annual account. And that code will also get you savings for the lifetime of the account. Plus, you can uh, pay with Bitcoin and save even more. Save 62% off the annual account price by using code FTLBTC over at proxpn.com slash FTL. It's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. And ProXPN does not keep records of your online habits at all. So again, don't forget codes FTL50 or FTLBTC and get a great discount on privacy that is priceless. Proxpn.com slash FTL. Johnson brought in some audio here tonight called How to Make a Progressive Lose Their S. Uh, we have the censored version of the audio, which has taken out certain uh, words that the FCC would not allow. And uh, we're going to continue with this here. It's a guy on the streets. He's campaigning for some politician in who knows where, probably in uh, Philadelphia or around that area, from what we understand yeah. about the producers. New York. Well, what did. Uh, uh... I thought he said Derek J said the guy lives outside of Philly, Westchester, New York, Westchester University, or something like that. He said it was in. I thought he said it was in Pennsylvania. But anyway, yeah. um, regardless of where they're from, this is the guy who they're interviewing is this progressive who's campaigning for some politician. And uh, so after a brief, uh, a brief maybe thirty or forty seconds of the campaigner sort of spouting off about how great his candidate is, they then talk to him about what it means to be progressive. And we'll continue the audio. Here. Equal opportunity. Well, you would say these are progressive ideals. Yeah. The idea of using a state or using more force and more violence to espouse your will. Yeah. No, I'm not for. I don't know where you came up with violence. So. Well, see, the thing is that when you start implementing progressive policies, you're using the barrel. All right, did you want to interview me or do you want me to interview you? I mean, I'm don't come into and talk about all this. I'm not trying to be hostile. Don't put Steve. violence in my. I'm just. All right, so. Th I don't think his explanation of things, the 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 guy, not the um, not the guy who's cursing, but the guy who's doing the the interview, the guy with the cameraman. I don't think his explanation was very good because he made it sound like the violence would be starting with the progressive policies. Like, oh well, if your guy got elected, then there'd be violence. He right. didn't. He doesn't acknowledge that the system is violent right now, and that's a confusing. It's a, it was a confusing way to explain right. himself. I think that was a failure of communication on on his part. But obviously, this guy doesn't really want to listen or have a conversation at right. this point he's 
freaking out. And he's he's upset, I think, for a valid reason from his perspective. He doesn't see himself as supporting violence. And this is common among people who support the state but don't really want to see what it does. They don't really right. want to know what's really behind the state, right. which they is want violence. All the great- good, they want all the good things, uh, whatever those good things might be. They want equality and justice and sure. uh, stability and clean water, uh, clean air, fair Does, living wage and all those things. There's a quote supposedly from Otto von, von Bismarck that says, uh, laws are like sausages. Nobody wants to see them making being made. It's true. And so what he's reacting to, though, is being called violent. I mean, that's ultimately how he interpreted what was being and said And so here. he cusses and yells. Well, right. I mean, he, again, he th- he's definitely at fault for being a very poor communicator himself. But let's continue on here. I'm just, what we have so far is a miscommunication on both parties' par- uh, right. parts, in my opinion. I'm just having a discussion. If you want to have it, we can stop. But, uh, Listen, I thought you wanted to interview me, but that's it's what more we're about doing. you and not me. It's not about you. I'm you want to edit that out or you want to keep it in? I, I, Why don't you just put, put the camera on him and let him do the whole show? I'm just asking him to think, bud. I don't know where you came up with uh, Violence and all this stuff out of nowhere. We're just how is that progressive? Where did you read that? How how are the policies enforced? How do you enforce? You don't enforce policies. We're here because we're running an election. Okay, so here's where this guy right. really shows his ignorance, right? He doesn't even understand the question. He's not processing what has been said right. to him, which is why the. Well, I think he processes it is clearly because he got angry. He understands it. It's this is what's called cognitive dissonance. He doesn't want to acknowledge it. He doesn't want his rational mind to deal mm-hmm. with the truth. Does that mean he's understood it, or does that I mean think that he he's purpose- on some level understands it? Because okay. otherwise, he wouldn't be angry. I don't know about that. Um, you know, maybe he's just an angry kind of guy, and he's. But just- why did he get immediately angry? Because I think the suggestion was that he would be violent, and you're right. Maybe he realizes that's true, or maybe not. Maybe he's just upset that someone would would call him violent. And then, of course, as Mark pointed out, act kind of angry and violent. violent. <laughs> uh, he didn't actually hit I the think. guy. Yeah, threatening. Um, and this is one thing that one uh, that I, I think many libertarians can uh, can really learn something from is, is when you're passionate about something, and like here on the show, you mm-hmm. know, you'll we'll raise our voices at times and, uh, you know, make points in, in a fashion. I don't know what that, you're talking about. I don't raise my voice. And, I, and not <laughs> get your message across. When you're dealing with somebody, because on the radio, I think it's a different uh, different paradigm. But when you're talking to somebody face to face, you need to stay uh, cool headed and explain things to them. Yeah, and I think that they ask a fair question about how our policies enforced. And at this point, the guy's seeing red, and I don't think he's really processing anything that's being right. said to him uh, at this point in the conversation. It's how are policies enforced? How do you enforce? You don't it enforce policies. policies. We're here because we're running an election. Do you understand that? You numb yeah. skull. What comes out of uh, <laughs> policy? Why don't you do your school project somewhere else, all right? Okay. I, I think don't he's going to cry. I don't, I don't want to You guys talk. are f***ing hacks. Okay. You're hey, why? Camera, you think you're something. I know filmmakers who actually make films. Okay. And they're actually good. So tell us why. They're not f***ing hacks so like you. So tell us why your policies aren't based on violence. Yeah, I was, I'm going to f***ing talk to you. I don't give a shit. I was nice for a few minutes. Like, I, I you know, his, his voice is cracking. Yeah, like is. he is. Like he's, he's gonna cry. Emotional. Like, uh, uh. yeah, he's very emotional. Was he nice. didn't like being called violent. That's apparently, right. that's right. Was nice for a few minutes. Like, I, you I know. didn't know that I wasn't nice. Yeah, get the f- out of here. This is somebody. Hall, oh, you think you're something? Uh, this is just gold. Let you guys know that. Yeah, it's gold. All right. Yeah, it's gold. So. <laughs> Not the best, uh, let's say, campaigner. Uh, probably not somebody you'd want to lead your campaign. Uh, wouldn't want to have somebody with a uh, an attitude like that out on the streets. But on the other hand, there was miscommunication on the part of the video producers, I think, that led to that uh, outburst by the guy. I'm not saying they're responsible for his outburst, but I think that it could have been better. I think right. the communication Well, it's practice been... to some extent, right? Right. right. Uh, right. I'm, I'm just a critic, right? I'm just here listening to the audio saying, oh, this is how it could have been done better. But when you're in a situation and you say the wrong thing, uh, you know, sometimes you don't get a second chance. And in that case, you don't get a second chance right. with that particular individual. So your thoughts, Johnson? You know, I just, I really thought that this was interesting. I thought it was, you know, you show, and this seems to be very common, is if you show uh, a, a, a liberal Democrat or, uh, you know, progressive or whatever you want to call them, but someone that supports these policies that they think are helpful, it's like the road to, you know, the road to hell is paved with paved with good intentions, mm-hmm. and you show them the violence and they freak out. And I, well, I'm, be, I'm using they and, you know, collectivist words here a lot, but... uh 
that particular mindset, I think, is the type that freaks out because there is that cognitive dissonance and there is that understanding on some level that, hey, yeah, you have to enforce a law. And when you're not thinking about it and it's shown to you in your face, they freak out and they just immediately assume that the person talking to them, oh, you're a Republican. Yeah, you know, and it's so far from the truth. Well, let's not forget that a, pro- a lot of people listening probably don't even understand what the violence is. Sure. If you're going to put together your program that's going to feed uh, little, uh, you know, starving babies or whatever it is, what you have to do is you have to go through the taxation system. The taxation system says contribute to our cause, whatever that might be, and it's all one lump sum, whether it's dropping bombs on the same babies or feeding them. Um it, or you're going to go to jail. And that's the violence inherent in the system. All right, we'll get back with more here. Let's talk about how to communicate with progressives, because I personally believe it's easier to communicate these ideas to progressives. Uh, and I've done both. I don't. We'll come I back think with that they're more so here in on Free Talk Live. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body, normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also Explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. 
Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, dial toll free and bring up anything you want here at 855-450 free. What sort of experiences do you have communicating the ideas of liberty with so-called or self-labeled progressives? Uh, that's what the video was that Johnson brought in tonight. We played the audio track from. It's called How to Make a Progressive Lose Their S, which, in my opinion, you know, isn't shouldn't be your intention in having a conversation right. with somebody. And I don't think it was their intention either. This guy just lost it because he didn't really understand what was being said to him uh, by the libertarians that uh, were encountering him, which isn't uncommon. I mean, uh, most people don't want to see the so-called gun in the room, the violence that backs up the system. Uh, the system that some people have that, that some people have an appreciation for some of the things it does, like you know the government sometimes actually does help people with the welfare system, for instance, who may actually need some help. Uh, and of course, there's all kinds of uh, scams and people that they're helping that don't need help. But uh, you know, there are some people who are genuinely in need and and they get helped. And of course, people want that to happen, and so they don't want to find out that their their method of helping people, this government system whether it's welfare or healthcare or whatever you fill in the blank program that uh, is appreciated, they don't want to discover that there's actually violence behind that program because in order to make that realization, they would have to realize that they have always, without realizing it, have supported that violence. And that's an uncomfortable thing, and that's what you were saying when you right. were talking about the cognitive dissonance that this guy was experiencing during this video, Johnson. Our toll-free number, if you would like to comment, is 855-450-FREE. We've got Glenn in Philly. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Glenn. Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Welcome, uh, Glenn. You just said it correctly, cognitive dissonance. A lot of times people, someone said it's a cognitive dissidence, which is a common talk radio misconception for some reason. Yes, And okay. that fellow who you played on the audio clip wasn't running an election. He was running a campaign, but he was grossly ill-equipped to be out in public as a representative for his candidate. He obviously didn't know much of anything. Well, That's kind of what they get them, um, though. You know, I mean, they just get young people that, I mean, young people are willing to knock on the doors, you know? Yeah, it's true. Right. I, mean, I wouldn't do it. It's hard to, uh, when you're running a political campaign, the people who come to help you are who you get. You know, you don't yeah. you don't get to choose well, who your well, help is, usually. We're, we're always told to vote, 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 vote. When I was in high school, you know, if you're 17, you're approaching voting age. And, um, you know, I had a high school history teacher who said, everybody's always trying to, you know, get you to go out and vote. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't vote. I right hear. Let's see. Well, I thought, holy cow, a history teacher telling me not to vote unless I know what I'm voting for and about and why. How like, many people was, like, who are not, listening right now have gone to the polls and voted and, you know, and ended up because it's a uh, national election, there's some kind of local election involved too, and they're like, I don't know who these people are. Um, in the town I grew up in, they had these nonpartisan elections for sort of local level stuff. I'm just I, picking I, names. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, oh, I'm, I've done it. I'm Christmas treeing well, yes. the the, the it, ballot. It's very hard. And here's the thing: even if you're conscientious, okay, like when I was in school, and you know, when Hector was a pop, yeah, you, know, you had a thing called a platform. Like the platform was comprised of planks, and um, you know, you, the League of Women Voters used to put out, you know, for national elections, you know. Things explaining the issues at stake, the platforms of the candidates, and how they stood on various issues. It's very hard uh, to find out for your local candidates for state or local elections, <clears throat> first of all, what the pending issues even are, what the platforms are about, what the issues are, where they stand on them, what they intend to do. If you're conscientious, even if you try to approach their campaign people and say, well, you know, where does he stand on this, where does he stand on that? All you get is jingoism and slogans. It's mm. very hard to responsibly pick someone since nobody is clearly articulating the issues and where the candidates stand. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely share that uh, that frustration, which is why it's nice to be in New Hampshire where we actually have liberty candidates who are running for political office here. It's a lot easier to know who to vote for in that instance. Glenn, anything else you want to share tonight? Well, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about this, this issue of violence, and I understand sure. why people recoil at this. In other words, like... <clears throat> It's this question of, you know, whether or not in adult society there should be things which are compulsory or mandatory, and then you know which could be ruled against in some legal forum, 
um, and ultimately ending up in some expression of physical violence, such as detention or incarceration, stuff like that. Uh, you, you, I, I was reminded of the line in um, uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, where the, the collectivist farmers out in the field and King Arthur's trying to talk to him. And they say, and the guy's screaming, look, he's, and King Arthur becomes frustrated Dennis. with him, and he's like, you know. It's Dennis. He's, 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 yeah, he's, he's oppressing me, he's oppressing <laughs> me. Come and see the violence inherent in the system. Look, he's, look, oh, shut look up. at the violence <laughs> inherent in the system. Look. <laughs> Exactly. We are an anarcho-syndicalist commune, and we elect a principal every two weeks that yeah. handles... We need, we need a quorum of 80, you know, 80% <laughs> whatever, you know, yeah. three quarters. And, yeah, yeah, that's what that was. So okay. what was the point you were, you, were, you were driving at there, Glenn? Well, what I was going at is this question of violence. And I wanted, as an example, I wanted to use, uh, you know, reprise the issue of, of Mark's firehouse. And what I didn't get to say last night is, okay, since if we are not permitted to do anything compulsory or mandatory or extract any funds from anyone from anything. Um, do we set a, do we get rid of the volunteer firehouse, the politically subsidized, governmentally subsidized firehouse? Uh, institute a subscription service privatized firehouse. And then those who participate in this, you know, privatized co op type situation, uh, get their fires put out, but then we do we sit idly by and allow the people and their children to burn if they've not paid for the subscription service. You know, I so think which, that is, which is the greater ethical faux pas: allowing people to burn because they don't willingly subscribe, or compelling them to contribute. Good to question, not Glenn. Thanks for the call enough. tonight. I appreciate it. Mark, your thoughts. Well, I think that, um, it, like, if we're, it's difficult because what we're, we're talking about an imaginary world, and mm -hmm. what are the parameters of this imaginary world? I do think that we could absolutely have uh, free market fire services where people would choose how they get them, and, and they'd get service. It would just be probably at a higher price. Hey, you want your fire put out? We're here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the fire out because I know that there's this service when you uh, get boats, uh, when you have a boat, and they'll come out and they'll tow you back when you have a problem. Now, if you're not part of their little AAA boat club thing, you're going to pay out the butt for getting your boat taken back to shore, and it doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor. And now, do I think that there probably would be charity wings to this? I do. But um, essentially, I think you would have to cover a much larger area with a lot smaller crew of professionals rather than a volunteer Staff. I don't mm -hmm. think the volun I think the volunteer firefighter system only works in the sort of municipal setup that we currently have, because that way, a town my size can afford to keep six trucks going because they don't pay anybody. They don't pay any individuals mm -hmm. um, for the services, including up to and including the chief. So you've got this uh, this weirdly perverted system that has evolved over the course of many, many decades that likely isn't going to be undone anytime soon by any advocations of any libertarians. That's why I have such a conundrum with this firehouse situation. Yeah, that was discussed in detail last night on the show. You can go grab that over at freetalklive.com to really hear a lot about this firehouse situation where Mark's, you know, on this volunteer fire team and they're talking about, you know, how do we get this new firehouse thing because the taxpayers don't want to pay for it. So what would the volunteer solution be to that? We talked about that quite a bit. So back to progressives and, uh, and, and talking to them about the violence inherent in the system. That was where the failure, the real breakdown in communication began to, from my perspective in this video right. was where the people who are asking questions questions of the progressive uh, campaigner didn't really do a good job in communicating what they meant. And they also made it sound like by implementing progressive policies that then violence would begin. And that was, I think, a real critical Sorry. error because the violence is already inside the system. I just had a very funny thought, you know, like, and I'm just thinking to myself, what, what if that guy who was doing the interview had responded, I'm feeling that you're angry that I called you violent at this moment. <laughs> What's that called? That's uh, nonviolent communication. Yeah, it's kind of a cult. So, uh, toll free number tonight eight fifty five four fifty free. That the outcome would have changed if he had employed on. If he had jumped into this guy's getting really upset. 
What if I jump in NBC? I don't know. I'm not a real fan <laughs> of the NBC thing, Johnson. So I don't think you are either, right? No. Well, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think I it's think it could employed, be employed very poorly in general. But I well, think you know sometimes it could be potentially successful. I've seen it employed quite well by people who have uh, decided to do away with sort of the practice verbiage. <laughs> the the practice the jargon. Verbiage, you mean? Yeah the, yeah. the jargon they give you uh, early on doesn't sign really of a cult. By the way, what's that? Jargon's a sign of a cult. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, libertarians have lots of uh, jargon too, hmm. and you do can, they have a charismatic leader like the NBC people? Uh, they have a promoter. <laughs> and there are several charismatic no. leaders in the liberty movement, and lo- they have lots of different That's factions. Not the same thing. Not the same thing. What are the brutalists? Which ones are the the? Uh, which ones do Jeffrey Tucker lead? I don't know. I don't know. Do they, Does Jeffrey Tucker lead it's people? Just, it's just irony when Ian's asking, "Do they have a charismatic leader?" <laughs> Why is that ironic? Because. How how often are you accused of being the leader? But how charismatic <laughs> am I? Come on, really? Jeez. I can attest to the fact that you're highly you can find um, a lot more charismatic people than me. Highly uncharismatic, yes. So yeah, that doesn't just doesn't fit me. 855-450 freeze the toll-free number here tonight. But I do want to talk a little bit more about, you know, how could you successfully communicate the violence inherent in the system to somebody who considers themselves a progressive. Uh, you can also share your experience as well. Maybe you were from the progressive side of things and you went libertarian. would love to hear your story. It's Free Talk Live. Are you familiar with our movies on the U.S. Constitution featuring experts like Ron Paul, Edwin Vieira, G. Edward Griffin, and Pat Buchanan? Movies such as Fiat Empire, Original Intent, Cultural Marxism, Corporate Fascism, and Molan La Bay. Want to become an associate producer on our seventh feature documentary, Midnight Ride? Simply go to midnightride.us and donate what you can. Midnightride.us. Kay Oliver is part of the Twayambe Women's Group in Jinja, Uganda. She gets old clothes, fixes them up, washes them, and then sells them at the Jinja market. She was quite happy with her success at her business, but realized that a sewing machine would really help her make more money to take care of her two kids. Free Talk Live helped her get that sewing machine. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound, try out the subscription, cancel at any time, coffee.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,249. Silver, around $17.39, and Bitcoin, around $378. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, despite strict gun laws, the second of two deadly assaults in three days happened Wednesday in Ottawa, Ontario, when a gunman, armed with either a rifle or shotgun, shot and killed a corporal guarding the tomb of the unknown soldier at the National War Memorial. He then made his way into the nearby Parliament building and managed to fire a number of times before he was shot and killed. The timing of the shootings have led the governments of both Canada and the United States to suspect Islamic State sympathizers as the gunman. 
WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has filed a statement in Swedish courts claiming that the Ecuadorian embassy in London is under surveillance. Assange says his conversations are being eavesdropped on from within the embassy. Assange has been in the embassy since 2012 after applying for asylum. Despite Ecuador's granting of asylum, the UK government will not allow Assange to leave the country. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security have set their sights on a new threat, novelty underwear. KCTV is reporting that Birdies, a small Kansas City business, received a visit from agents for the two federal agencies. Their crime? Selling what the feds call copyright infringing underwear. With the business's hometown team, the Kansas City Royals in the World Series, they locally printed panties that featured a crown and KC on the back, along with the phrase, take the crown. Major League Baseball found out and called the feds, who confiscated the illicit underwear. A Birdies employee said they didn't make the underwear expecting to make money, only selling it out of pride for their team and their city. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Be The Media, a workshop, mini-conference, and party exploring alternative media and celebrating the launch of the Liberty Beat GCN partnership. It happens Saturday, October 25th, and will be live-streamed at thelibertybeat.com. Be the media and change the world. This is The Liberty Beat for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. On Tuesday, the Los Angeles City Council voted in favor of drafting an ordinance that would ban the growing of plants from genetically modified seeds. The largely symbolic ban is seen as a sign of support for larger mandates against GM technology. The ban comes after a recent motion which would allow landowners to receive tax breaks for using empty lots for urban farming. A crop consultant company based in Ohio has begun using unmanned aerial vehicles or drones for scouting fields for potential problems. TMK Bakersville uses a drone for field scouting at farms in three different Ohio counties. Crop consultants use the Steady Drone quadcopter to spot potential weed or drought problems. Despite the machine's popular use as a weapon of war, the use of drones for business or civilian tasks is becoming a common sight. The second White House security breach in just one month. The latest happened Wednesday evening, when an unidentified man climbed the White House fence. He was quickly apprehended on the North Lawn by uniformed Secret Service agents and their dogs. Last month, another man gained access into the White House and was taken into custody after he managed to make his way into the ceremonial East Room. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. The nation's quadriplegics immobilized on Washington in support of stem cell research. And a Penn State t-shirt is awkwardly looked away from. And now for the weekly feature your fragile, susceptible mind already has your lips salivating for. This is the Onion Week in Review. Sources reported today that 10-year-old Brandon Thomas, who is currently homesick at his friend Kevin's sleepover, needs to just tough it the f*** out. I don't feel like playing Xbox right now. The pathetic little bitch who claims he just doesn't feel like eating any birthday cake or joining in any activities with his friends, frankly needs to grow a pair because his parents only live 10 minutes away, for Christ's sake. Here's what the whiny pansy had to say for himself. I wasn't crying. It's just allergies. I want to go home. What a f***ing wuss. In other news, a voicemail from mom is deleted three words in, and a man with nice eyes is blown. All right, now off with you. I can't have you seeing me like this. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network.
This is Free Talk Live, and you can take control toll-free. Bring up whatever's on your mind, 855-450-FREE. That is the Pro-XPN toll-free line. That's 855-450-3733. For those of you just tuning in in the last hour, Johnson, uh, we he brought in some audio that we played. It was of a video entitled How to Make a Progressive Lose Their S. And I'm hoping that wasn't the intention of the uh, the filmmakers when they went to uh, to have this conversation with this guy who was essentially just promoting a political campaign on the streets in some city. Because uh, ultimately, if your intention was to uh, to upset the guy, it certainly was a success because he was upset. But I think that the upset really came from the fact that uh, there was a miscommunication about the violence inherent in the system. And the way they spoke to this uh, the guy who ended up really flipping out, and he himself was quite to blame for having poor com- conversational skills. In fact, he was mostly to blame uh, for jumping to conclusions and getting angry and all that. And that's where the entertainment factor from the video comes from. But ultimately, as liberty-minded people, we want to persuade folks. I mean, we don't want to just upset them, necessarily. We want to hopefully persuade people that the ideas of liberty are worth pondering and worth considering and then worth embracing. And uh, and it can be tough when ultimately, you know, the system is based on violence and we want to communicate that to people. But in this video, the guy they were trying to communicate to presumed that they were saying that he was violent and that he was supporting violence. Now, while it's true that by supporting conservatives or progressives, you are supporting violence in almost every case, uh, while that's true, you don't, you know, there's better ways to communicate that than others. It's right? also generally true if you're supporting conservatives, too. I mean, that's what I said. Part, yeah, yeah. Conservatives and progressives, yeah, okay. whichever one you're supporting, you're supporting violence. And so having to communicate that to somebody, I think generally, in my experience, I feel like the people who consider themselves progressives are anti-violence. Like, right. they truly don't like the idea. They abhor the the idea of using violence over others. And when you point out the violence inherent in the system, the fact that every government program is ultimately backed by the threat of violence or actual violence being used against people, that uh, it can be a very difficult thing to process. The cognitive dissonance kicks in. And so you have to be careful on how you explain this. One of the better ways to, to I think, connect with anybody, whether they be progressive or conservative, is to find the issues on which you agree. And so, you know, with a conservative, you know, they might agree with you that taxes are are a bad thing or whatever. Of course, they think they're good for the military. But regardless, you find the right. points on which you can at least find some sort of level of an agreement. So some progressives might understand legalizing cannabis, uh, ending victimless crimes, but not all of them will. These are general statements, right? Some some progressives love the war the war on drugs. I mean, you never really right. know walking into a conversation. So you kind of have to feel yourself I found yourself lately out. a lot of progressives... Support the war. Some progressives support the war on drugs lately. Well, at least, okay. I should say that's particular in the Keene area because I've been talking to more people, and especially when I was out cop locking, Mm. um, I talked to a lot of progressives who were like, well, well, I don't like free Keene because I I don't think that all drugs should be legal. Ah, but they think that cannabis should be legal, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So you find the issues on which you disagree, and then, then usually, if it's something like the war on drugs or cannabis, you can certainly show them the violence there, right? Like they right. could they could acknowledge that people are put in jail and they're forced into the court system and that they can see the violence there. That's one of the reasons why they probably oppose it. So then you just have to show them how that applies to every government program. And, and then a couple of things will happen. One, it'll click. Not necessarily right then. You know, you know, somebody has to usually think about these things. They got to stay up late thinking about them in bed or, you know, in the shower or wherever it is people think, driving to work. And then it might click later on down the line, you know, maybe a couple of years or maybe a few months or maybe, who knows? Everybody's on their own journey and their right. own path. So either it'll click and they'll realize, oh crap, there is violence behind all these government programs that I support. I better figure out a way to help people, which is what most progressives want to do, to help people without the use of the threat of government force. And there you've created a voluntarist, you've created a liberty minded person. But the other option is that they will then embrace the violence. Like once you show them the violence in the system, a true progressive, you know, like a true inside the state kind of the belly of the beast progressive, they will then finally admit. You can actually get some of them to admit and and embrace the violence. And or they'll at least very uh, acknowledge the violence and say, look, this is the system we have, and one must work within the system that we have. I didn't create the system. This is the system. I will work within it. Sure. So that was my point. It'll go one of two directions as you're communicating this to where they'll embrace the ideas or they'll actually embrace uh, the they'll embrace the ideas of liberty or they'll actually 
overtly say, well, yeah, I guess the way when you put it that way, I'll admit that I would support using violence to make a welfare. This program. is how I've ended up with like you know friends, Facebook friends, and people I've known in my past, people I went to college with, high school, disconnecting with. from you them. know, yeah. yeah. I mean, when they finally said, said, you know, well, then I support violence. Well, then I'm no longer going to be friends with you, like because yeah. I don't want to associate with you. You're a dangerous person, you know, in my mind. Is essentially that's the line where I go. Okay, now it's time to be. Is there hope for that person though? I mean, probably, have- but not hope for me directly, mm-hmm. and not hope in, in, in not I mean, not a risk that, that right? I want to take. Okay, I'll let other people who are less connected to that person take that risk to try and convert that person. So that's uh, you know where I'm coming from on that. And, and as far as uh, conservatives are concerned, again, you can uh, usually get a conservative to agree with you on like taxes are violence but at the same time they'll want the taxes for the military because they actually do like violence that's why i feel like liberals are easier to communicate with for the ideas of voluntarism than conservatives because many of the conservatives seem to get off on violence you know they support the uh, the police uh, in a lot of ways and they support not to say that liberals don't support the police plenty of them do too uh, but you know conservatives overtly are very mil- militaristic and sort of saber rattling and so i find that it's harder to really show them the gun in the room and have them the, care about it the law and order thing is often where the conservatives uh, fall in line with the uh, because you know with law comes consequences right you break the law there are consequences however the problem with the law and order uh co- concept the whole philosophy of of law and order that uh you know we we are a nation of laws is that the politicians don't follow them i am the law the police get to enforce them how they wish to i've never seen a police officer pull another police officer over for rolling through a stop sign and you know they do it just as often as anybody else does so exactly where is this nation of laws you're talking about because if the nation of laws is just a well ruling we gotta class, elect the right people mark <laughs> yeah well that you've had 200 years for that well, we're going to need another four. Yeah, the well, most important you, you election can't of our lifetime is coming up next. See, the question, uh, they, they love saying that. They say it every it's time. very, very every funny. Every two years. The, the question that really comes down to, especially for conservatives, is do you believe that I have the right to secede? You mean personally secede? Whatever. If I can get together some friends, how many friends do I have That's to have? That's a good question to ask. Sure. To secede. Does our land have to be conjoining, mm. or can we just be all across a city to secede? I'd like to hear the conservative answer to that question. I would like to because hear what they would say. either I have the right to secede or I don't. Mm-hmm. And if I don't have that right, then nobody has the right to secede. The map needs to stay the way it is for the next thousand years. Well, a conservative would support that, right? Because it's supporting the status quo. They really don't. Because what they want to do is they want to generally go back. Conservatives don't support the status quo. Things suck today. Mm. They were better in the 1950s yeah, or the 1920s. Still, in 1950, or, there were still 50 states, right? So whatever there were. They would want to see that stick around, I would think. Because they're all, like you said before, you know, apple pie. You're wearing a Captain America shirt tonight. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> Captain so. America was likely a uh, a democrat a uh, truman Dr- democrat Is that right? yeah so i would love to hear a conservative answer that question though you know could i personally secede from your agreement and uh, that would make a great man on the street thing. Uh, we need more of that, in my opinion, because what's neat about this video, Johnson, is it's a man on the street kind of thing. Right. You, you're you're just if you do it in keen, you're just going to scare people off to the point that they don't want to go anywhere near somebody with a camera. <laughs> if you're too combative with the man on the yeah. the street thing, people That's not how you do don't want to talk street. To you. Man on the street. If is you ask hard you- questions. Yeah. Man on the street is uh, the best best done where you just ask people for their opinion on things, well, and then you splice all those together have, into- Have you ever a, seen Mark Dice's Man on the Street stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it gets pretty uh, repetitive. Yeah. It's just, it's also really sad to watch. You know, he does a lot of stuff where it's just like he asks questions and people are just that's astoundingly enter- ignorant. Right. That's the entertainment of Man on the Street is not that Mark Dice has to be really brilliant or anything like that. He's just asked to ask questions. And really, he's kind of got the same gig that he runs over and over again mm-hmm. uh, with sort of just different approach, slightly different approach. Uh, but, the, you know, Man on the Street's interesting because you find out what the man on the street thinks about the question. You don't get into an argument with the person about whatever. You just ask them their opinion. You come out with with a series of questions. Can you name the vice president? Uh, you come out with a series of questions. You ask the people those questions, and you move on. You thank them for their time. You're not there to convince the man on the street. How many states are there? 855 450 free. That's the toll free number. You can take control of the airwaves here. Share Four. your thoughts in bringing people to the ideas of liberty. What are your experiences? You're certainly welcome to do that. More coming up here with the 11 types of people libertarians are fed up with. Coming up. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. 
a hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, October 15, 2014, gold opened at 1246.90. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1292.55, 646.27 for a half ounce, or 323.14 for a quarter ounce. That's 1292.55, 646.27, and 323.14. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Eight fifty five four fifty three is the toll free number. That number is brought to you by Pro XPN. You're listening to Free Talk Live, and in the studio with you tonight, it's Ian here and Johnson and Mark. Don't forget to join us online at freetalklive.com. We have all kinds of features there, and they are free. Now, other things, uh, you know, you can't get for free, like gold and silver. You got to pay money for that stuff, and you can uh, do that, and it's probably worth your while because gold and silver, unlike the U.S. currency, the U.S. Federal Reserve note. Uh, gold and silver tends to hold its own against the Federal Reserve note as far as it's a protection uh, historically against inflation. 
Now, anything can happen in the future, but gold and silver will likely continue to be valuable to people, and that's why people like to buy them. Uh, go to gold.freetalklive.com. You can hook up with uh, gold and silver pieces in various different uh, shapes and sizes and shininess. Uh, so gold.freetalklive.com. Maybe you'd prefer to order over the phone or you get questions. 877-857-9938. That uh, connects you to the good folks over at Midas Resources. They've been doing this for a long time. 877. It's toll free. 877-857-9938. Or go to gold dot freetalklive.com and when you buy your gold and silver through gold.freetalklive.com free talk live benefits because Midas Resources is the company behind our syndicate that helps get free talk live onto more radio stations so it's a great way to get the stuff you're looking for great gold and silver and help us out at the same time so gold.freetalklive.com rich is in montana you're on free talk live hello rich rich in montana I don't know, some people, maybe we're having some sort of technical uh, difficulties tonight. I don't know if the phone pod has turned up on the board or if the last two calls we've had are just not there. We're going to put Rich back on hold here, and uh, we'll see if the board op can maybe hop on with him and see if he's uh, he's actually there. Our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. So, Mark, you've got a story about the 11 types of people that libertarians are fed up with. Yeah, and this ties in nicely with what we were talking about as far as conservatives in the last segment, um, because number 11 is the conservative who is both pro-life and pro-war. Right. And mm. this is really frustrating because— So they're only pro-some life, then. Well, yeah. I mean, and, and, and it's very basic. We know that uh, Obama's uh, remote control airplanes dropping Hellfire missiles all over uh, the Middle East and, and Near East are killing young children mm. now they'll say but the terrorists are using their children as human shields well i mean so that's an issue of convenience right isn't abortion an issue of convenience too why would you make such a big fat hairy deal about the pro-life issue um uh, for an unborn child but not that big of a deal when that child is halfway around the globe getting killed we know that in iraq it was 90 Nine zero percent of the deaths were non-combatant civilians. That's the terminology that was used in the leaked documents mm. that came out from Bradley Manning or Private Manning's leaks uh, from the State Department. That's their information. You can try to run your way around it as much as you possibly can, but the government says they killed, that nine out of ten people they killed were innocents. Okay? Okay. Now, when you look at uh, the, the, what they say about Obama's drone campaign, it was 98%. Now, I've seen those numbers uh, as, as much as 88%. But anyway, the percentages are not very good when it comes to civilian deaths it, from America's wars overseas. Don't forget the death penalty right here in the United States as well. Uh, well what, oftentimes you'll find conservatives not so worried. They'll say the baby is innocent. Whereas, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the criminal is guilty. They uh, can kind of work away around that one pretty quickly. I like how George Carlin phrases it. You know, they're they're always against the right to choose unless it's their right to choose who lives <laughs> or dies. Let's try uh, Rich one more time in Montana. We're, uh, we're told by the board out that he's actually there this time. Rich, are you with us? I'm here. Excellent. Okay. Go ahead, sir. All right. Mark, you do have the right to secede. Okay, great. If I, I can have, secede... I I, I wish the same thing for you as I wish for myself. <laughs> if you have the right to secede, nobody can talk about what kind of governance you're going to have. You know, hey, fine, I'll secede. Uh, what kind of as border as, arrangements as are you going to have on my property? <laughs> as, as long as it involves freedom, that's fine. Yep, right on. Rich, what else do you want to share? You have, you have to understand one thing. The definition of government is force. It is absolutely. Aggressive George Washington force. was pretty clear about pretty clear on it. Where I disagree with you guys sometimes, you you seem to be total nonviolence no matter what. Well, I disagree with that. Well, there that's not necessarily true. That's not necessarily true. I mean, I think Mark would be violent if his family were attacked. I'm pretty sure that's. Are you guys pro? Are you? Let me ask you guys a question. Are you guys pro gun? Yeah, I've I, had be very... I believe that you have the right to have tools. I believe you have the right to defend yourself. So therefore, you have the right to have tools that, to defend yourself. I with. have owned multiple yeah, guns absolutely. in my life. Absolutely, and where that violence will come in, you you know you know the original intent of the Second Amendment, right? To overthrow oh, the boy. government would be my guess. To repel tyrannical government like we have today. See, I personally think we're we're lost as a country. I think it's yeah, I think it's uh, it, it's not going to come back. Good. And I have no interest in it. That. 
I have no interest well, in I, having the United States. What's the value of it? I'm interested in having a free country again. I'm interested in having a country based on sure. that. But I'm all right with if well, the free country is the size of New Hampshire, and I'm sure you'd be all right if the free country were the size of Montana, right? Well, I think Montana's probably freer than where you're at. You think so? The Mercatus Center oh, uh, has— absolutely. The Mercatus Center's done the freedom of the 50 states, and Montana I is— I mean, who, who are you guys about to elect there for a state senator? Well, I don't who cares. The state senator is going to Washington. We're, we're sending whoever they are away. <laughs> whoever they are, there's a they're a scumbag. I can tell you that it's one party or the other, uh, Republican or Democrat. I was actually on some uh, conservative talk show in Florida, South Florida today, and I've yet to put that online, but I will at some point. And he asked me about the, you know, oh, your son of Senator Senator Shaheen, she's going up against Scott Brown. What do you think? And of course, my answer was, well, scumbag one versus scumbag two. Whoever wins, we lose. So, yeah, right. I'm not really concerned about that. Hey, well, Montana's actually moving up in the ranks. It's ranked Great. number 12, uh, but New Hampshire's number four. Sadly, New Hampshire's been going down over the last two uh, rankings, but uh, I, I have an inside scoop that New Hampshire might be number one again. And the next, next ranking year, you mean? will be in 2015. All right, very cool. Rich, anything else you want to share? I, I, liked, I liked your interview. I mean, that was a good interview, but I think it's so atypical. Which interview? The, the the political hack. Oh, oh, oh the yeah. guy, the uh, upset uh, progressive. You think it's atypical or typical? I'm sorry. It, 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 it is atypical. What the part about it? System, the education system in this country today. You're saying the the age the education system is atypical, meaning it is not typical. I mean, uh, well, no. To, you... to, to listen to that idiot. <laughs> was he an actual guy running for politics? No, no he was working for some hack. politician. He's campaigning he, for so a politician. He was a, politi he was a political hack. Calling people hacks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Projecting, <laughs> I guess. Hey, thanks, Rich. I mean, it's Okay. Appreciate, appreciate the call, man. 855 450 free. You can bring up anything. Patrick in West Virginia listening to WVTS. Hey, Patrick. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Yes, sir. Uh, Go ahead. I've wanted, to call you, I've wanted to call you for quite a while about this. Uh, a couple of months ago, I was uh, stopped at a school bus. That had its, you know, stop sign up with the flashing lights and all the traffic had stopped. Okay. Uh, Were you behind suddenly, it? Suddenly, uh, I was in front of the school bus. Okay. So you're was, coming in the up, oncoming direction. Right. Okay. And um, from behind me, a car passes me and then blows through the uh, school bus stop sign. Rut row. Um, oh dear. Now was yeah, this? Were um, you on a two lane? Uh, was it was a, the whole road four lanes and you were on the two it lanes? Was a, right. Four okay. lanes. Two so lanes, a guy passes you lanes, on the, the right. Right. Okay. Well, we're going to continue your story here in a moment. Sounds dangerous. We'll come back uh, 855 450 free with more with Patrick. Your calls are welcome. And what is Gamergate? I wish, I hope we get to find out. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpillett.com. Free Talk Live. What I find to be particularly amusing is where people are partying and reveling in the streets over the killing of another human being, and they're trying at the same time to act like they're better than everyone else. They're trying at the same time to, to you know, from one on one hand, they're saying, we're the best, America's the best, go USA, go team, everything we do is great. We're not like the rest of those savages around the rest of the world. We are better than the rest of those people around the world. But look, you're partying in the streets over a killing just like they did. 
You are no different than anyone else. You are the thing that you hate. Right. If it's like, oh, in your face, huh? You know, hey, what what is that going to result in? Violence. It's going to result in another airplane hitting another building. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Who did you let down today? Your wife? Your kids? Well, how about yourself? Take a look in the mirror. If you're tired of your drug and alcohol problem, you need to fix the problem and right now before you hurt or kill yourself or worse yet, somebody else. Call the addiction specialist now at the Detox and Treatment Helpline 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you have private insurance, we specialize in finding you the right treatment. When you call right now, you'll speak to a recovering addict who understands what you're going through right now. Let us help you break your addiction to drug and alcohol before it's too late. This call is completely confidential and free. So if you have private insurance, take five minutes of your time. Call right now. I promise it'll change your life. 800-208-5187. 800-208-5187. 800-208-5187. Call right now. 800-208-5187. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free and bring up anything you want at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We just lost Patrick in Charleston, West Virginia, he was telling us a story. It just barely started talking about the school bus that he was stopped at and some crazy person zooming around in the right lane. You can always call back and tell some other time. I would like to invite Patrick to uh, finish that story at his leisure, preferably tonight. Uh, The (laughs) toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. But we were in the middle of this list, Mark, that you had 11 types of people that libertarians are fed up with, to put the preposition at the end, as they have done. With which they are fed. With up, no. <laughs> up, fed. <laughs> fed hey. up, I don't think is, that's not a preposition. Up in that cir- circumstance is not a preposition. Coffee.freetalklive.com. That's where you can go to get a free pound of some of the best coffee out there. Shade grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica. And not only is it competitively priced with other high end coffees, but they do something special over at BuzzBox Coffee. We've teamed up with BuzzBox and Kiva.org, which allows us to send micro loans out to folks. To help change lives by offering people in poverty an opportunity to improve their own lives. So for every 10 Free Talk Live listeners that signs up for the auto ship program over at coffee.freetalklive.com, for every 10, we get to send out a new microloan. And when that microloan gets paid off, we can reloan that same money back out to someone else. So making a big difference and you're getting great coffee and you get the first pound for free by going to coffee.freetalklive.com. You just pay the shipping cost and it is yours. You can cancel your subscription at any time. That's coffee.freetalklive.com. Mark, where was this list of 11 uh, types of people that libertarians are, are fed up with? Coming Rightlywired.com. Rightly. Wired? That's correct. Rightly wired. Sounds like a not a sounds like not a libertarian website. It says but, eleven uh, types of people libertarians are totally fed up with. Right, it's clearly on, libertarian leaning. Go on <laughs> the next uh, next number. Yeah, number ten and nine are sort of linked together. Um, okay. It says the liberal who dislikes corporate power, but is totally cool with a strong central government. Yeah, which of course is the biggest corporation right. of all, right? 
Right. It's really sort of the silly concept is, is that, oh, I hate corporate power. Who do you think gives the corporations power over your life? I think that's a really good uh, wedge issue to convert a, a progressive to a libertarian. Oh, no, it's personally. an awesome wedge, wedge yeah. issue, but they can't get their minds around it. They will well, run in little true. tiny tight circles trying to get away, get away, get away, Some get away. Some of them might, but that's why I think it's a wedge, good wedge issue because I think you can show people pretty clearly that the government's a corporation. And that the government is the creator of the corporations as it's, well. It's pretty clear the government is the creator of the corporations. And it's pretty clear that corporations buy the government officials in order to get their power. They just want to steal the golden gun of power from them. And the people that they give it to, they'll be good. Let's go to Patrick. He is back with us. So, Patrick, you're at a uh, school bus. It stopped. You were stopped in the oncoming lanes. There's two lanes oncoming and somebody zooms around uh, in the other oncoming lane as the school bus is stopped. Go ahead with your story. Uh, correct. Um, at that time, luckily, uh, none of the children had gotten off of the bus yet, so I, I don't think anybody was in danger. Uh, the real reason for my call is um, as soon as this guy zipped around, uh, my focus, of course, went immediately to the bus driver, who I could see was mouthing some choice words <laughs> at that time. I couldn't hear him, of course. But, Vacuum. Um, you mamma jamma. Yeah. <laughs> he, um, he reaches down uh, to his side, I guess, where the console would be in your car, maybe in a cup holder or something, and um, <clears throat> reaches out of the window and turns around backwards to where he could see this car. And he has something in his hand, and he reaches it out in front of him, much in the way that you would point a remote at a uh, television and points it toward the back of this car, which is speeding away in the opposite direction. And I see him kind of push a button with his thumb, but it's kind of far away. The device itself looks like it might be the size of a, a, a keychain, like you'd use a remote keychain device. Tell me his car blew and, up. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been interesting, but no. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I had never seen anything like that. I, uh, and I just thought maybe you guys might know or have heard something similar. I have no clue what this was. So you feel but like it, it was too small to be a camera? It was a camera, and he didn't hold it up to his face like you would a camera. He held it out in front of his body like, like a remote, like a television remote. It was, License plate scanner of some sort? Maybe. <laughs> I, I really don't know. But I thought to myself, if that was the case, what kind of authority are we given to bus drivers now to be able to do something like well. that? I know that uh, New Hampshire is the only state where the cops are not allowed to use the license plate scanners, and so I'd imagine if the cops can use it in other states, so can the school bus drivers. I don't yeah, know. That I don't. It's a great question. If anybody has any speculation, feel free to call in toll free tonight at eight fifty five four fifty free. I suppose it could have been a camera as well, uh, but the smaller a camera is, the more difficult it becomes to get a decent picture out of it. So yeah, odds are good correct. it wasn't a camera. Could have been it just as. His car remote, and he was just trying to scare everybody who was stopped into never <laughs> acting like that. <laughs> Maybe it was some kind of disabling device. You know, that <laughs> well, that would be that would be yeah. pretty funny, right? Like if a uh, school yeah. bus driver could just hit a button and disable a, an unruly car, and the guy just you know stops moving until somebody can come. Uh, <laughs> oh, give him it's a hard coming. Time. Hey, thanks yeah, for the sure call, I'm... Patrick. I appreciate your uh, your call tonight. The toll free number, and if anybody's got an answer, please feel free to speculate. I think license plate scanner is the best guess. But how close does the person with the license plate have to be to the scanner in order for it to be useful? I, mean, I don't how, know. How long did it take this guy to reach down, grab the device, stick it out the window, and hit the button? That's going to take some I, time. I would think it would be something like a QR code scanner where it just looks for license plates. Um, and you know, yeah, but Do you know what I mean? Like This I guy know. zooms <laughs> by. I would uh, think that they would just have like a freedom game. The bus itself would just have cameras all over it, and mm -hmm. they wouldn't need to have a guy stick his arm out the window because the bus is constantly recording, and anybody who passes by catches the license plate. That would be the best way to do it because I can tell you that even with uh, even with stationary security cameras, it's hard as hell to get a license plate on one of those things. I've had experience with these uh, devices. Even in high resolution, it can be difficult to get a license plate of a moving car. Yeah, this isn't CSI, you know? <laughs> right. right, and uh, the, the punk rock girl with the the ponytails, she can't just uh, zoom in on every uh, you know security enhance, camera out there. Enhance. <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't work like that. And so that's why I don't think it could have been a camera because you know how long did it take him to grab it and hold it out the window? By that time, that guy's probably long down the road. And could you really get a decent shot uh, from that far away? I don't know. Your thoughts are welcome. Let's go to John. He's also listening in Charleston, West Virginia. John, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, 
Hey, man. Uh, I was kind of want to talk about how public services are uh, kind of communist, like mm-hmm. uh, public education, uh, the police, uh, state police, uh, tax, insurance on your cars, uh, any kind of tax, really, and uh, college. College. I agree with everything you're yeah, saying. Uh, I, I need to know about college now. Oh, uh, the college institutions, they're kind of based on, uh, well, it's all set up to, for you, whenever you're in high school, that's your uh, goal, right? So they know you pretty much don't have any other choice. And, uh, I mean, it's just the doctors, if you want to be a doctor, you have to pay outrageous amounts of money. And I don't think what you're describing there is particularly communism. It's uh, definitely a controlled it's a system. Rigged system. Yeah, it's a, it's a rigged system. I mean, communism is a political system, basically that uh, that takes people take takes people's income completely and redistributes it uh, among some central by some the uh, diktats of a central authority. Um, you know what you're describing isn't really communism in the case of the school, but certainly some schools are funded well, not, by I, socialistic I, I, measures. It, yeah. I, I, but you can see how that does kind of play into the total economic problem that's going on right now. Well, there's there's no doubt that I think there's a higher education bubble going on right now. And yeah, and there's no doubt that having certain educations required to uh, to be something like a doctor, for instance, uh, and restricting well, I, I, the I, I access to the the marketplace by people who haven't gone through those systems is definitely a protectionist. Just, right. I, I think there's uh, cheaper ways to get certified now. I think a lot of people are starting to look at that. And now colleges are kind of, I heard something the other day, uh, colleges are trying to find uh, people that think outside of the box, problem solvers. Well, I have no love for colleges and the college system. I think the whole thing's a scam. And I thank you, John, for the call tonight. Appreciate it. More coming up here in moments. More of the people that libertarians are ostensibly fed up with. I don't know if I share these, uh, these items. More coming up. The event you've been waiting for is here. Lumber Liquidators, third annual fall flooring yard sale. It's your chance to get first quality, full warranty, direct from the mill flooring at unbelievable closeout prices. Like oak laminate for an incredible 19 cents a square foot and pre-finished three-quarter inch solid maple for just $149. Plus beautiful bamboo for 63% less than other stores. Take advantage of our 20 years of savings with 20-month special financing and get even more unheard of flooring deals in our stores. Fall flooring yard sale is Thursday through Monday only. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. Do you drink coffee? Was the last cup of coffee you had really good? Free Talk Live has teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you the best of the best coffee. Shade grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is for every 10 people that get their coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. Get a free pound to try it out. A free pound of the best of the best coffee. Help others one cup at a time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi folks, Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem, whether you're for or against Obamacare. It's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do, or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great, and it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Getthetea.com. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. 
FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You may dial in toll-free, and we'll get you in even here in the remaining moments. Enough time for you at 855-450-FREE. Plus, you can join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out in that way if you prefer. We are uh, sharing with you the 11 types of libertarians, or the 11 types of people libertarians are fed up with, according to some website. Um, I'm not really fed up uh, with, with people. I understand that everybody's at their own point in their journey, and some of them aren't ready for the ideas of freedom yet. But all that said, uh, Johnson, uh, regardless of the types of people, there are things that liberty-minded folks are doing to help people. Not, sure, you said not we, based on their we politics. were sharing something with people. and uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's not based on their politics, though. It's just based on helping people in need right. uh, this Thanksgiving season. We've had Amanda Bolden on the show in the past, right. basically on a yearly basis, to talk about uh, her project, Shire Sharing, mm -hmm. which has, what is it? Is this fourth year now, I think? It's uh, first, yes, I believe, I believe it is. I yeah, this is the fourth yeah, year. This is the fourth year, yeah. Um, and it, every year, Shire Sharing has increased the number of families that it has been able to feed on Thanksgiving with right. a fairly hefty, uh, nice dinner. Yep. And this is something that was led by a Free State Project participant here in New Hampshire, and it's yet another example of how you know libertarians aren't these sort of harsh, uh, evil, non-caring people. Well, it's also just about how to do charity in a voluntary fashion that it is possible, and well, not always possible that it's voluntary. probable. Right, that's true, but there are some that are not. You know, some take subsidies from the government. Sure, yeah. and there are programs that aren't. you wouldn't even consider it a charity because it's not a charity, it's just theft. But this doesn't you know, take any subsidy from government. government the Shire Sharing doesn't. Exactly, it's but, completely voluntary. But now, okay, so I, I guess I'm. you've started a sort of a branch of Shire Sharing. Right, I've been involved with Shire Sharing since the beginning. I just heard the idea, and I'm like, that's a great idea. I'm jumping on it, and I, mm -hmm. you know, even this was back when I was in Connecticut, so I would drive up and oh, get wow. involved with the Thanksgiving stuff uh, for Shire Sharing, even when I was back living in Connecticut. And um, now Shire Sharing has been expanding, and so I decided to expand to ShireSharingKeen.org. So um, has Shire Sharing ever done any family deliveries in Keene prior to uh, this year? I don't believe so. No, seems like they focused in like Concord, right? Manchester. Uh, yeah, Concord, Ma Manchester, and I think they. Have have a Nashua. There's, mm -hmm. there's. I know there's another. Uh, there is. There are a couple of other branches. There's one in a school, and then one in a nearby, another nearby town. Mm, all right. So, um, Keen is not the first branch of share sharing, but I, I'm sure it's probably going to end up being hopefully one of the bigger ones. So, I'm. This is just preliminary. So this first year, I mean, we've set a very modest goal. We're trying to reach five hundred dollars for this year to feed. How many people know, that feed? Uh, I believe we're trying to feed. 25? 25? 20 families 25 or? 25 people. People. Uh, you should know this stuff. 
Yeah, I know. I really, <laughs> really should. The founder uh, of Shire Sharon Keen, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You're just getting um, this rolling now, right? Yeah, I'm really it's just getting start. this rolling. I mean, I just got the web website up this week. I mean, so, you know, it's- It's, it's like six bucks a, a meal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way you can feed 25 families for $500. It's just not possible. Right. Yeah. yeah. But uh, 25 people, that may be more well, realistic. Right. If it was six dollars a, <laughs> if it's six dollars a meal, then you can feed a hundred people for six hundred dollars. Um, well, that's okay. a good point. Yeah, yeah. So I was saying twenty-five. So that people. Be twenty. Or twenty. <laughs> yeah. 20 would be 25 way more fa- than twenty-five families. people. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's what I was saying. You couldn't feed twenty-five families for for that amount. Yeah, a family is probably not going to be yeah. too much bigger than that. Yeah. I mean, it's twenty-five families okay. reaching hundred. I thought people. it was like twelve dollars per per person. No. And no. It's six. No, she's. I mean, one of the things that Amanda has done is work with some grocery stores and work the to get the prices down. On, oh, really? On cans of food, like getting really discounted stuff for hmm. uh, some of the food that's going in, getting di- like free and donated turkeys. I mean, oh, cool. some of the supermarkets are really. I mean, and some of these organizations that have gotten involved, you know, they really want to pitch in and help with this charity, and and so it becomes this sort of synergy of you know bringing down the prices and really cost effectively feeding mm-hmm. as many people as possible. So every dollar goes a really long way i know that much all right so uh, shiresharing.org is the main website but you've launched another site right shiresharingkeen.org it's specifically about the even more right <laughs> why couldn't you get why like keen.shiresharing.org or something i mean maybe i could maybe i could redirect it i don't know i don't know anyway let's go to somebody who knows a thing or two about this so amanda is with us calling from uh manchester like, this, this seems like she's, a setup she's the founder of uh, shire sharing and uh, what's what's johnson getting right or wrong with his numbers amanda can you set us uh, straight <laughs> Um, well, it takes a while to get the data from, um, the agencies that we work with um, to find the families Mm -hmm. and I'm still waiting on the data, but, um, we're aiming for just to start with like 10 families, maybe a maximum of 20, but that is a a good, that is a, a really good jumping off point. When my dad started almost 15 years ago, he only delivered to one house his first year. Oh, wow. Now, what is the cost per uh, per person to feed these folks a decent Thanksgiving meal? He's he was saying six bucks. Is that, is that yeah, true? it consistently it's been an average of six dollars per person, or okay. like twenty dollars for the average household. Okay, got it. Cool. So, what's uh, what's what about the rest of the year? I think that that's every time I've talked to anybody about this, this is the first thing they they say to me, as though people don't need a meal uh, this year. Yeah, I, I actually don't want people to eat ever except for on Thanksgiving. Yeah, only but, Thanksgiving is the only time you yeah. eat. <laughs> yep. Otherwise, they can starve. I just it want to hear your to answer. Build up stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while to build up something like that. I mean, I'm, we're not the Koch brothers here. We don't yeah. have a billion dollars. Um, but a lot of Shire Sharing does a lot of stuff throughout the year, and I head up a lot of um, community outreach type of projects throughout the year as they present themselves. I think it was. Maybe at the beginning of summer, I heard about a, a couple in the area that are in the Porcupine community, and they were having some serious financial problems, like, you know, on the brink of being evicted. And um, I don't, I'm don't, i keeping them anonymous, and I'm not explaining their situation to anyone, but in my opinion, their situation was pretty forgivable. It wasn't like, you know, um, willingly uh, poor. They weren't negligent mm-hmm. in any way. And um, I think it took maybe three hours to round up around $350 in market basket gift cards for them, which is, you know, the local grocery store here. Hmm. And I brought it over to their house the same day, along with the bouquet for the missus, because I don't know, I thought it would perk her up. That's super nice. And um, that's the kind of stuff that happens all the time. And it's on a, on a, I guess, a as-needed basis. So, and um, that's, Amanda, you're going to be hosting uh, the upcoming charity panel for the first time Mm -hmm. at Keenvention next week. Very excited to have you and your panelists who have been announced now over at Keenvention.info. And the cool thing about Shire Sharing is you don't have to be in New Hampshire to help out. You don't have to physically be here to load trucks with food on them, you know, deliver things to families. You can just, you give can us just your send money. some money over at shiresharing.org or uh, shiresharingkeen.org, was it, right. Johnson? Mm-hmm. Um, so there you go. Amanda, anything else you want to share tonight? Um, well, I hope that people can come to volunteer because that is the most fun, definitely, is, is getting out there and actually meeting the people that you're helping. 
Oh, I bet it is. And thank you for the call tonight. Appreciate hearing from you. And obviously, that's one yet another reason to come to New Hampshire because there's a real community of people who love freedom here who are actually you know doing all kinds of outreach to help people. And yeah, speaking it, of charismatic leaders, she has about you know 300 times <laughs> the amount of charisma that I do, well, especially <laughs> on something like this sort of thing, like talking about charity. You know, one, I just don't have a great memory for this stuff, and two, I mean, I just am like. I just want to help. Yeah. I can build a website. <laughs> well, it's got donation buttons on and it. And I want to say Let thanks. Let me carry turkeys. Because thank you for taking <laughs> this. I, ca- I don't have the time to head right. something like this up, but right. I'm really glad it's happening in our community. One of the things about Shire Sharing that kind of, you know, bothered me is, is there's nothing happening here where right. I am. Exactly. And you're taking care of that, and I really appreciate that. So don't I can worry. Only, the haters will hate it anyway. I can yeah, only get sure. money. Well, they hate everything, yeah. which is really awesome. Please hate our Thanksgiving donations to poor people. <laughs> <laughs> right, it just shows where right. you're at. Hey, Mark, uh, what are some of the more of these libertarians <laughs> are upset at? Yeah. Speaking of the types, types of people, people we don't like, I'm just going <laughs> to rattle off uh, the ones that I like at this point. Uh, number six, uh, this isn't in order. Um, number six, people who throw a fit over Obama's golf game. You know, I mean, have you heard uh, folks, you know, making a big fuss over, oh, he, he takes should be so in many, the White House. He takes so many vacations <laughs> and uh, his vacations are expensive. And that Michelle Obama, the she's same an thing entitled that's with, uh, woman. Every president, right. right? Like, that's not new. Well, that was the, I remember Michael Moore's movie, uh, what it was about 9 11 or whatever, about George Bush's uh, campaign. The first thing that they did was basically say that essentially George Bush played golf until 9 11. Mm. Yeah. You won't be seeing him making a movie like that about Obama. No, no, not likely at all. Oh, I'm sure George Bush played golf after 9-11. You know where Come I on. want Barack Obama? On the freaking golf course. Yeah. Please, <laughs> yeah. take Michelle with you. Keep them out of my life and on somebody's golf course. Well, let's just put all of the 535 of them out on Get a golf them out course. on golf courses, squash courts. I don't care. Find, find a sport for these people and get them out of their what they're doing. All right, next one. Um, the anti-government right winger who supports war, the ultimate <laughs> yeah. expression yeah, yeah, of governmental that. power. Sure, and like you can be for small government, and you can be for military adventurism, but you can't be for both. No doubt. Same thing with the uh, closed border people. They claim to be small government. What a joke! That guy who doesn't trust the government to run a lemonade stand, but is convinced that it's masterminding right. <laughs> a huge evil plot. <laughs> the conspiracy theorist. The no world order. All right, yeah, those are pretty good, Mark. Uh, post that on our Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter, will ya? Posted. Go to news.freetalklive.com. You can access all of those things, the Google Plus, the Facebook, the Twitter. We'll see you online in the meantime at freetalklive.com between now and tomorrow night. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on, joined the Free State Project, and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308.
The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,249, silver around $17.39, and Bitcoin around $378. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, despite strict gun laws, the second of two deadly assaults in three days happened Wednesday in Ottawa, Ontario, when a gunman armed with either a rifle or shotgun shot and killed a corporal guarding the tomb of the unknown soldier at the National War Memorial. He then made his way into the nearby Parliament building and managed to fire a number of times before he was shot and killed. The timing of the shootings have led the governments of both Canada and the United States to suspect Islamic State sympathizers as the gunman. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has filed a statement in Swedish courts claiming that the Ecuadorian embassy in London is under surveillance. Assange says his conversations are being eavesdropped on from within the embassy. Assange has been in the embassy since 2012 after applying for asylum. Despite Ecuador's granting of asylum, the UK government will not allow Assange to leave the country. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security have set their sights on a new threat, novelty underwear. KCTV is reporting that Birdies, a small Kansas City business, received a visit from agents for the two federal agencies. Their crime? selling what the feds call copyright-infringing underwear. With the business's hometown team, the Kansas City Royals in the World Series, they locally printed panties that featured a crown and KC on the back, along with the phrase, take the crown. Major League Baseball found out and called the feds, who confiscated the illicit underwear. A Birdies employee said they didn't make the underwear expecting to make money, only selling it out of pride for their team and their city. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Be The Media, a workshop, mini-conference, and party exploring alternative media and celebrating the launch of the Liberty Beat GCN partnership. It happens Saturday, October 25th, and will be live-streamed at thelibertybeat.com. Be the media and change the world. This is the Liberty Beat for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. On Tuesday, the Los Angeles City Council voted in favor of drafting an ordinance that would ban the growing of plants from genetically modified seeds. The largely symbolic ban is seen as a sign of support for larger mandates against GM technology. The ban comes after a recent motion which would allow landowners to receive tax breaks for using empty lots for urban farming. A crop consultant company based in Ohio has begun using unmanned aerial vehicles or drones for scouting fields for potential problems. TMK Bakersville uses a drone for field scouting at farms in three different Ohio counties. Crop consultants use the Steady Drone quadcopter to spot potential weed or drought problems. Despite the machine's popular use as a weapon of war, the use of drones for business or civilian tasks is becoming a common sight. The second White House security breach in just one month. The latest happened Wednesday evening, when an unidentified man climbed the White House fence. He was quickly apprehended on the North Lawn by uniformed Secret Service agents and their dogs. Last month, another man gained access into the White House and was taken into custody after he managed to make his way into the ceremonial East Room. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com. And watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat.
for Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. NASA's recent discovery of water on Mercury has led to speculation among scientists that the planet could potentially sustain an intergalactic space prison housing the universe's worst criminals. Scientists believe that organic compounds found on the planet's surface could be